Testing, testing, one, two. <laughs> okay, well, we're dropping frames, but uh, I really don't care because I need to get cooking ASAP if we want to get this turkey in the oven in time to have it out so that we can eat at an appropriate hour. Uh, and when I say turkey, I mean only turkey breast because apparently the only things that you can find the day after Thanksgiving in the store are frozen turkeys or young, never frozen turkey breasts. So I've got, it's actually, they're actually pretty nice size. It's like almost 11 pounds with just the breasts, no drumsticks, no thighs, no wings. Makes me sad that I'm not going to have dark meat, but, but. We still brined it, it's still drying out in my fridge. Um, hopefully it'll work out. The only thing that hurts me a little on the inside um, is that I can't stuff it because the whole bottom of the turkey got cut out. They basically like started spatchcocking it and like took the whole backbone out. So like I, there's no cavity, it's just kind of open. Um, so like the stuffing's gonna have to get made on the side or I'm just gonna have to pour a lot of gravy into it or something like that and, and we'll just work it out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I'm doing right now. So I've got everything pretty much prepped uh, for stuffing. I've got some thyme, I've got some sage and some rosemary. Um, I've got onions, celery, carrots. <laughs> you guys are going to think that this is gross, but hey, uh, I've got turkey hearts. Um, that also get ground up into our stuffing. It gives it um, a little bit stronger of a meaty turkey flavor um, that I, I would think that most people don't use. I actually thought it was pretty funny uh, when I got this in the store because they just, they're just already frozen when you get them in the freezer section. Um, usually you can get like livers and hearts and things like that um, frozen in the, in the freezer section, but there's, there's no expiration date. So I don't know when this was like packaged and it makes me kind of nervous because I feel like so few people probably use these um, that like there's a really good chance this is like over a year old. <laughs> we shall see. Um, and then I've also got some stock that I made. I stole the carcass um, from Lep's family's Thanksgiving meal that we had on Thursday and I made a huge, huge pot of stock. Um, with the remains from their Thanksgiving turkeys. So I've got like, I've got something like with the stock that I made, cause I did, I did stock with just necks, with turkey necks, and then the stock from their turkey, I probably have about a, like a half gallon of stock right now before I even get any gravy from our turkey breasts. So uh, I think like we're gonna be in a really nice place with gravy this year, um, but I've got, also milk and then this is just dried white, white bread. Um, traditionally what my family did when I was younger is we would dry out white bread until it was like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, it basically just is breadcrumbs and we would use this, um, we would use this for our stuffing and only this. Uh, what we started doing recently, um, and when I say recently, I mean like in the last maybe five or six years, uh, is we also started adding in the pre-seasoned, um, I think it's like Pe Pepperidge Farm. I don't even know what brand it is, guys. Yeah, Pepperidge Farm has like a classic herb seasoning. Um, it helps because then I don't need to add as many fresh herbs to it, um, and it kind of maintains the, f the flavor. Um, which is nice and also like you don't have to do this with a million pieces of bread after a while making your own breadcrumbs hurts your fingers a lot um, But I'm gonna basically what I've got is I've got a bag of the uh, already seasoned um, Pepperidge Farm stuff here. Uh, I've got that in here and then I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> Jeff with the five gifted mistakes I'm gonna go with not mistakes Thank you so much, Jeff. Happy Friendsgiving, welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh. Uh, Lep is running around the house like, like this and I don't know what's going on. What's up, bud? Okay, can you please set it down somewhere and mommy will, or why don't you put it in the garbage can if you don't want it? You see that little head? Look at that little head, he's so cute. They saw you. <laughs> 
Um, so anyway, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a bunch of this bread in here. Um, and then I'm going to start sending, I've got my attachment to my KitchenAid um, for grinding. And I'm actually going to grind up my carrots, my celery, and my onions into this mixture. Um, we also put milk in our stuffing. Um, I, I don't know if that's traditional or not, um, but we do kind of a mixture of milk and also um, like pre-made stock that we have. Um, you can use chicken stock if you want or like a vegetable stock or something like that. Um, it really depends on, on how you wanna make it. Um, but we, we do add milk, it's kind of the same thing as like, like I put milk in my meatballs and my meatloaf um, cause that's just how I was always taught. I don't know. I'm sure it's traditional. Um, but we also put it in our stuffing. So you'll see me kind of adding a bunch of these ingredients in, grinding it for a little bit of moisture, adding a little bit more moisture in kind of trying to balance out the texture that I want and then tasting it a little bit, um, to see what I think about it at the very end. What I'm going to do is add in my turkey hearts at that point, because then I won't be able to taste it. Um, and I, we, because this is stuffing and I'm going to treat this as traditional stuffing, even though it's not really going to get stuffed in the bird. Um, we fry our stuffing in butter. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is taking everything in here once I have the heart in, and then I'm going to fry it in a bunch of butter so that I can then taste it because we don't want to taste raw, raw, um, parts. Those need to be cooked. Um, our stuffing gets completely cooked all the way through before it goes in the bird. Um, and that's traditionally how we do it. So, uh, I'm going to actually, before I start this, I'm going to just point to this pan here behind me on the stove top. I've actually got, I didn't make my apple cider caramel yet. Um, so I started making that about 30 minutes ago. I'm taking three quarters of a cup of, um, unpasteurized apple cider and I am getting it cooked down, or two cups, sorry, two cups of apple cider, um, cooking it down to a quarter cup. Uh, and then I'm going to make caramel using the dry method, which is basically just putting dry sugar into a pan, um, bringing up the heat and letting it melt on its own without any liquid. And then you add cream into that, uh, mix it until it turns into kind of a caramel, add in your um, apple cider for the flavor, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of clove, some salt, um, and some of vanilla. And then you've got yourself like a nice apple cider caramel. Um, I have made previously some vanilla ice cream um, with a little bit of orange zest in it. And I've got a homemade cranberry sauce that I also made previously um, that is really, really simple. Um, and I put orange zest and orange, uh, fresh squeezed orange juice in that. So I think the flavors will complement each other nicely. Um, yeah, I did. What, <laughs> what, Nurm, what, what did you not want me to do already? <laughs> a microwave this size should be illegal. It is a pretty big microwave. I gotta say, I had like a toaster oven that was smaller than that when I was in college. So it is a new microwave. It's almost exactly the same. Although I do have to say, I went into the soften and melt. They have like a soften and melt button for like softening cream cheese or butter and like melting cheese or melting chocolate, melt marshmallow is on here. And I was like, I'm liking whatever that is. That's a new feature. I can now melt marshmallow in my, in my, uh, my microwave. I'm very excited about that. <clears throat> people keep asking me if we're going to do the beer mile, mainly people that are going to be running the beer mile. Uh, it's a, we are still planning on doing it. I'm just going to let everybody know it is raining here right now as per usual for every like beer event that we have here on stream. Um, but it's supposed to stop by the time that we do our beer mile. So we should be fine. Mm, warming butter on the counter. Yes, we do have some butter hanging out here on the counter as well. It's just, it's chilling. I'm going to rub that underneath my turkey skin and on top of my turkey skin. And then I use the butter also to pan fry our stuffing once we've got it done. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can cook left legs, nice. Okay, I am going to take my turkey out or my turkey breast out now. Um, and let it come to room temperature. 
Uh, the closer you can get to room temperature before you um, before you stuff and get it in the oven, the more evenly and better it's going to cook through. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it out on the counter, let it hang out a little bit more. That looks really nice and dry. I don't know if you guys can see my little... <laughs> if it had legs and dry, I think this is probably about a 13 pound turkey, um, maybe a 14 pound turkey if it, if it actually would have had um, if it would have had the drumsticks and the thighs and the wings on it. Um, God, I'm so mad that they cut the backbone out. I really like, I could have, if, if they would have taken everything off and just left the backbone, I still could have stuffed the damn thing, but uh, it's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to attempt not to be too boring, but I am gonna crush up a bunch of this and just make some quick breadcrumbs. I don't have to, um, I'm gonna like try to get as many smaller pieces as possible, um, but this all turns into mush anyway. Um, so it doesn't have to be, it, you, like you don't have to go crazy trying to get everything like completely pulverized. Um, one thing I will say is you wanna make sure that you have, if you are gonna create the stuffing again, you wanna make sure that you have your bread out for at least at least 36 hours, um, and you want it on like the uh, like the cooling racks so that it gets air to the top and the bottom. If you don't have it on a cooling rack, you can just do it on like you know on the counter um, or on, on like a cookie sheet or something like that. Just make sure that you're flipping them a couple times a day um, to, so that air is getting on both sides. Otherwise, you're gonna have like a soft side and then a really hard side. Um, and the, if you leave it out for at least 36 hours, it'll crumble like this. If you don't, if you like completely forget um, and it's out for you know, something like 24 hours or whatever, I would, I would probably suggest sticking it in the oven on warm for a little while to help it dry out because if you don't have it dried all the way out, it's gonna turn, like it's, it's, not gonna, um, it's not gonna break apart the same way, it's not gonna crumble the same way. And the pieces that are still kind of moist are gonna turn into like really big pieces of bread stuck in your stuffing with no flavor in them. Um, so you don't, you don't want that to happen. It's not, not very fun to like just hit a big chunk of bread that refused to turn into a breadcrumb when you were trying to, uh, to get them into your stuffing. Happy talks. Huh? No, you don't have to. You're good. Yeah. You can talk to me about whatever you want to talk to me, baby. So last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. <clears throat> What's going on? Oh, okay. Um, Are they out front on the patio? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Chad, can you hear the bread crumbling? Uh, say, no, say no, dot not just for you. We don't need any? She said, is it just for me? I said, no, not just for you. Just say pick us up some too, or whatever. Get enough for all, get enough for us. Or we don't have enough or something. How tall is Leopard? Wait. Who's asking that? I can't see the name. Is it somebody who asks that every time just no. to be funny? Is this a new Mr. person? Llamas. He's six two, guys. I'm five three. He is six two. He's he is outside. very tall. What's going on? Okay. He's outside. She is outside. Is yeah. she where she's supposed to be outside? No, oh, the mail truck. Cool. Are we getting some packages? <laughs> Rachel's asking me what kind of beer we should have for the beer mile, and she asked me any preferences, and I kind of want to be like, as long as it's not over like 6%, because I feel like I would die if it's, if it's that high. But most beers that I like are over that. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah. Something I'd like. Okay. We'll see what she says. I need to do a wine mile. 
Guys, if I attempt, oh my God, okay. I was thinking about that last night, because here's the thing, is wine would be way easier to do on the onset, because there's no carbonation. So like, you're not like running and like attempting to try to like burp and, oh God, running a beer mile sucks. I don't burp very well. Um, so like, I can never let all of that out and it doesn't make for a very comfortable run. Um, and so wine would be great, except for the fact that it's more than double the amount of most of the beers that we buy. <laughs> and I would be trashed. Mistakes. And then we wouldn't yeah, have the rest of our meal. And that would be not great. <laughs> this is really pretty. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like right now. I don't know if, we, if you guys got to see, I think you might have gotten to see this the last time that I made this for the ice cream. So this was two cups. I'm probably down to about a third, half of a cup. I'm gonna keep going. It just started smelling really good, so I decided to, to check on it. Hi, Kate, you are soaking wet. Ken, thanks for the tier two. 19 months. The sub is for Carrie, not you. Merry, happy Friendsgiving. Uh, Thanks. You're too nice. Uh, Kate was what? playing in gutter water. Oh, fun. Did you find anything fun in the gutter, baby girl? Her legs are completely soaked. Let's go change and then put some... She looked really cute today, too, guys. I'm super sad about this right now. Hey, baby girl. Luke, your shoes are on backwards. <laughs> no, don't press. Come on, come on. Luke, you're about to get into trouble. Get away from there. Uh, Gutter water's the best water. <laughs> okay, so I've got I've got a pretty good amount. I think I've got about half the bread that I that I dried. I was going to make some stuffing in the bird and then some stuffing out of the bird this year. Um, so I, I have like enough to make way more stuffing than I think I've ever made in my life, but it's honestly like stuffing and gravy is the best part of Thanksgiving. So I didn't really mind it, but now that I can't stuff the bird and I've only got stuff kind of on the outside, um, I figured I'd just make a normal amount or attempt to make a normal amount and then just see if I felt like making more. Uh, so I've got, I've got about a normal amount of stuffing here. Um, it's about a half a loaf crumbled in and then the, the breadcrumbs from the Pepperidge Farm stuff. Now I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna start, we're gonna start grinding away. Let's see, we're gonna lock that, get this going. So what's great about this Cause like I could put this into a food processor. I know that's, this is gonna be kind of loud. I could put this into a food processor, but it's not gonna be, it's chopped, not kind of pulverized. So the cell walls don't break the same way. Um, and it's not, it, you don't get as much moisture um, out, of, out of stuff when you just stick it into a food processor, at least in my opinion. Um, it's just, it's never mush. It's like chopped pieces and I do not want that. And I do have extra carrots, celery, and onions um, in my refrigerator, so if I feel like we need some more of that, then I'll go ahead and, and do that. I've got a little bit more of everything. Are we dropping frames again? Rockabilly with the 21 months frames? Yeah, probably. We're having issues, we're having issues with dropping frames, so. Is it really bad? Oh, okay. Cool, working fine now. Awesome, no drops with sub alert. We're testing, okay. Apparently I don't pay enough attention, guys. <laughs> Ken, with the 200 teeny tiny mistakes. Thanks, Ken. I don't wanna call them mistakes when I stream. Can I call them something else? What should we call them? Chat, what do you think, what should I call them? Shorty V12 with a subscription for the four months of, of uh, happy accidents. Thanks. Do we have any message to read? No, nope, no message. That's okay. I'm going to pretend you said something really nice.
call them breadcrumbs. I'm okay with that. Victory, yes. We'll I'll call them breadcrumbs. <laughs> Teeny tiny breadcrumbs. Does that mean like donations have to be a whole loaf? Okay, so I've got some wet ingredients going through. I'm gonna start throwing in some of my herbs. I've got a bunch of sage here. I'm gonna throw in some rosemary. This is gonna start smelling really, really good. And I'm very, I'm very sorry that you guys aren't here to smell this because it's fantastic. I find that um, the carrots come through okay, uh, but if you ever wanna like wash out and kind of flush the, um, what am I calling this? Flush your like mechanical, whatever the hell, I don't know, your grinder. Um, put the onion through. Um, it's gonna really, really break down and it'll liquefy everything in there and really like flush out the tunnel there. Grinder? Process? Yeah, processor? I don't know. I don't know what we wanna call it, something. We're gonna throw some time in. Ken, with another 100 breadcrumbs. Get it in there. He wants to add more bread, guys. I guess that means we add more bread. What do we, what do, we do? There we go. That's a little more than 200 breadcrumbs, but we're adding it. We're doing it. Yay. Okay, some more sage. A little bit more rosemary. I'm trying to add them about the same amount. Rosemary is really strong, um, but it comes through really well in stuffing. And that was probably very loud for you guys. Apologies. Um, it comes through really well in the stuffing. And there's just so much bread that, like, you really, it's really difficult to over herb a stuffing. I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit. Kind of get it spread around. Oh, it already smells so good. Okay, so I, I'm probably gonna add a lot. I'm gonna go back to the refrigerator and cut up more onion and get more uh, celery out of the fridge. I, I like carrots, but I feel like carrots have such a sweetness to them. And I, I don't really like sweetness in my entrees. I'm sure that I've voiced that opinion a number of times um, during LEP streams. Um, I add way more onions and way more celery to like any soup stock, any anything that has like a mirepoix in it. I I'm I add way more carrots and celery, and so I'll probably be doing that here too. I think it's just a much better flavor to me than than carrot spring. Add some more herbs. I'm gonna start adding some more moisture in the form of the stock. And some milk. You're hungry? Oh, <laughs> you should be. This is gonna be delicious. And now you know how to make it. This is actually a family recipe. I've been making this I've been making this for a very, very long time. Like a very, very long time. I remember like helping my dad like get the herbs and like doing this part because it's always fun. It's like there's really nothing that you can like no, no, no trouble you can really get yourself into when it comes to this other than like maybe sticking your hand in the bowl when there's a whisk attached to it. Um, but like it's, yeah. I mean, I remember this is one of the first meals that I remember making with my dad. Yes, this is stuffing victory. This is this is a real stuffing. I I do, this okay. This is my stuffing, but it will not be stuffing the bird because they did not have full turkeys. They only had like turkey breasts with the backbone cut out and like no. I don't. I just I still don't understand why someone would only buy a turkey breast. Like I don't even think there are oysters on the back of that, which I'm really pissed about because those are the best part of the bird. But. Um, this is my traditional stuffing. I, my family's all from New Jersey. 
we don't do dressing. Um, we are not, we are not like that Southern tradition thing, you know, never, never made it to me. Um, even though I've been here in Tallahassee for quite some time, um, we, we do, we still do traditional stuffing. Um, so this is something that I, we kind of make on the side uh, and then we put into the bird and let it cook with, or I guess let the bird cook around it. This is already pre-cooked once you put it in it. But, and that is please for the love of God, if you do decide to make stuffing, cook your stuffing before it goes in the bird. Um, you want it to be as warm as you can possibly get it. And if you do have anything, like if you put eggs in it or you put, what I'm gonna do, um, which is like we put, we would grind up livers and heart and stuff like that. Um, you have to make sure that it's cooked before it goes in the bird because it's not going to um, come up to temperature the same way because it's, it's like way in the, in the cavity. Um, so you have to be careful uh, and make sure that it's pre-cooked and nice and warm when it goes in. Do I have a website or anything with this recipe? I don't. Um, I, could, I could probably attempt to come up with something um, that would go into like maybe Lep's, I don't know, like into a, into one of his channels or something like that on Discord. Um, but I don't, I don't currently have anything. Okay, this is definitely done. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is like a nice super concentrated apple cider. You done. I'm not going to start the, the sugar yet. I'm gonna wait for that. I don't wanna, I have to watch it and I don't wanna burn anything when I'm not paying attention because I'm doing this. Okay, let's go ahead and add some of our stock. I don't know if you guys can see that. This stock, oh my God, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna just, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I think, um, I think the turkey that was at Lep's family's house um, like a friend of the family made it or something, and he smoked it before he roasted it. Uh, and the carcass that they gave me had a ton of meat, um, and it had a ton of the skin on it. So the the stock that I made it had like has like a really good flavor. Um, if you get stock uh, and you just get like you know uncooked necks or legs or wings or whatever you want to do, you'll still get a little bit of that flavor. Um, you'll still get a little bit of that flavor, but uh, it's not, it's not going to be as strong as if you have something that was like previously roasted and, and already has that flavor kind of built in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take a little taste of that. So I want to add some more sage to that and some more thyme to that. I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Good clean fun without internet. <laughs> That is the bounce house. That box, I need to get like a plastic bin or something like that. It got cold really fast. The second it started raining, the temperature dropped from like the mid 70s into this like mid 50s, upper 50s. New Jersey is cheap gas. They also don't let you pump your own gas. They do not. They have attendants that are supposed to do it for you and they get pissed at you if you attempt to get out of the car and do it yourself. Do not attempt to pump your own gas in New Jersey. I think New York does that too, but I am not sure. It is Kirkland brand milk. <laughs> it is. Yeah, smoked turkey. I, oh God, I would love, I would love to have a smoker. We had a smoker for like a little while. One of Chuck's old co-workers gave it to him. This is just not enough stuffing. This makes me, I need, I need to make more stuffing than this. I've decided. Like I look at this and I'm like, we're gonna finish this and I'll have no leftovers and that's unacceptable. Um, Chuck's co-worker gave him a smoker and we, um, we had it and we used it maybe three times and then it just like short circuited and stopped working. Uh, so, so there went the smoker, but I made some smoked salmon that was really good. Um, and I smoked some ribs in it and those were really good and, oh God, I would love, 
I would love that. Okay, I'm gonna get something to drink real quick. So just give me un momento, por favor. Let's see. <laughs> Should I do it? Should I do the like, what is, how does he say? He says, we're gonna open a, a can of Kirkland brand sparkling, whatever, all the calories with none of the pesky, or all the, wait, what is it? All the bubbly goodness with none of those pesky calories, something like that? I don't even know, I don't even know, guys. The next, next kitchen purchase is a dehydrator. Cool, have fun. Um, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> hmm. I um I don't know. I I I've dehydrated. I I've made jerky and stuff like that, and I've done it in my oven. And yes, it would take way less electricity. <laughs> It would take way less power um, to just use a dehydrator. But like, what would you use it for? Cause like I've made jerky and I've made like the fruit leather kind of stuff, like the fruit roll ups. Um, but I haven't made anything else aside from that. So like, what else would you use your dehydrator for? I guess you could like dry herbs. That would be kind of cool. Instead of like hanging them or something like that, you could just like put them in the dehydrator. I need salt. This needs salt. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to use the rest of the bread in here. I don't know if you can see. This is the consistency that you want it to be. Um, it, it does have quite a bit of moisture in it, but we're gonna, we're gonna fry out most of that and then add butter into it, because you know, why not? Um, but it'll, it'll we'll fry it out and it'll get a little bit of, like a little crumbly. Uh, and then when it goes into the bird, if you did stuff it, though I can't, um, the bird would essentially like, you know, baste it while it's in there and it comes out like really nice and moist, which is like the worst word in the world, but. Mm, that's nice. I'm making more than this. I can't take it. I'm gonna do it. Fruits and veggies and stuff for spice blends, rubs, jerky, fruit, leather, awesome. It looks like a big pan of marijuana. It's not exactly the right color, but I see what you're saying. Does anybody have any questions for me as I'm making more breadcrumbs? Ugh. I guess it's good that I rock climb. <laughs> Strong fingers makes tiny breadcrumbs. Is this meal for leopard? Among other people, yes. This meal is for me and my kids and Leopard and a couple of my coworkers and, fa and friends. What are we making today? We are making almost a full Thanksgiving meal. Um, I've got stuffing in the works. We've got our turkey drying on the counter um, a little bit more, coming up to room temperature. Um, I had it, I brined it overnight and then I've had it in the refrigerator. I, I would like, if you're gonna, like if you're gonna brine your turkey, you really want it to dry out as best as you can. Um, get it to dry so that the, the skin crisps up nicely. 
Um, I would typically want, like after brining, want it to sit in the fridge for like at least half a day, maybe a whole day if you have the time for it. Um, I did not have the time for that, but it's been in there for a couple, of, it's been in there for like, like four or five hours. So I'm gonna call it a win. Um, I patted it really nice and dry um, because it doesn't have a cavity. Um, it's not retaining like moisture on the inside the way that it would. Like I'd have to keep sopping it up with towels and stuff like that with like paper towels. Um, but I don't really have to do that because it doesn't have a cavity. But we're, pr and we're in a pretty good place with, the, with that. Um, but you want to dry it out as much as possible so the skin crisps. And then like I've seen, I've seen people do, I do butter. We've always done like salt and pepper and butter um, on, the, on the outside, like on the skin, and then um, butter underneath the skin. I've seen people use oil, um, but I've, we've never done that. I don't know. I'm sure that there's a difference. To me, when I cook, butter browns better, so it, it makes sense to use butter. Um, but people swear by oil, so good on ya. Enjoy your oil. Lep is 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna answer the questions. Frames? Oh no, fine on your end. Okay, so some people are dropping frames and some people are not. Um, we're also gonna do so. I've got stuffing and turkey. I'll make gravy. Um, I'll sh like I'll show you guys how I make my gravy. I uh, also have some apple cider caramel that's in the works, uh, and then we'll have mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and green beans. Um, I do, I have already made a few things. Um, I already made a cranberry sauce. I made some vanilla ice cream. Um, and then um, I also made a bunch of like stock previously so that I could use it in my stuffing and use it for my gravy, for extra gravy, because like there's just not enough pan drippings to make, like, like you don't get enough gravy. You have to make extra stock beforehand or it's just not fun. Um, Cause like, who wants to run out of gravy? No one. No one wants that. Don't run out of gravy ever, guys. Big note to host a party, and you have gravy. Please never ever run out. <laughs> Carrie's number one cooking tip: just add butter. I am not Paula Dean. Uh, my number one cooking tip is probably: please make sure that you season your food. Um, <laughs> like. I, I, a lot of people either like, are they like scared to add salt um, or they're scared to add extra flavor and I just find that silly. Um, please, please properly season your food. <laughs> Number one cooking tip. Taste, taste, and season. Taste and season, season and taste. A great, I am a gravy fiend too. Your number one cooking tip is add bacon. Not my number one cooking tip. Oh no, I've made an enemy. Not my number one cooking tip. It's 5 a.m. and I'm making you hungry. Get yourself some tea or some, some, a little bit of breakfast. Fill up the belly since your eyes, so your eyes doesn't bother you to watch this stuff. Okay, I am gonna add, I'm also going to add some more of the herb stuffing. I'm getting to the point where I need to start um, getting my bird prepped. Previous years, I've cooked, um, I've cooked the bird in um, the bottom oven. But my, autumn, my bottom oven doesn't, that way like I could get in and out of the top one easier with all the sides. But the bottom oven doesn't seem to cook evenly. So we're gonna cook it in the top this time. Let's see. We're gonna bake at 325. Get that ready to go. Okay. I'm gonna add the whole bag this time. About a half a bag, so I've got about a bag and a half of this herb stuff. This is a much better amount. I am very happy with this amount. 
Going commando for 18 months. Thanks. Thanks very much. Two babies. Finally, some content we're subbing for. Aw, oh, thank you. You're cooking and snacking, so you might survive this. Perfect, shoe. Perfect. You're having return of the turkey day for lunch. You know what? I, I got to say, that's, yeah. So this is, have you ever, do you make turkey sandwiches? I want to know. This is, this is a, an imperative question. Major chaos, do you make your turkey sandwiches? What do you, how do you do your, your leftover meals? Do you just like make yourself another plate? Or do you make yourself a sandwich or what? Because I have, I have tips. I have pro tips if you're interested. Ugh, Lep and I did this last night for like an hour. So I'm gonna attempt to go as fast as I can and just take the, the pieces of time that are gonna work. Another plate. Okay. If you, if anyone ever decides, I'm just going to throw this out there. If anyone ever decides that they want to make a turkey sandwich, pro tip. If you have stuffing, mashed potatoes, turkey, I don't know if you put cranberry sauce on. Have fun if you do cranberry sauce on your, on your uh, sandwich too. Um, in order to make sure that your gravy doesn't run out of your sandwich, here's a comment. Here's a comment. Are you guys ready for the tip? Are you ready for the tip? This is what you do. Either on your mashed potatoes or your stuffing, because if you have like crumbly dressing, it's not going to work as well. So it could be the mashed potatoes. You're going to make a layer, nice little disc, put it on your sandwich, and then you're going to poke holes around, like nine holes or whatever, around the, ma and the mashed potatoes and fill that with gravy. <laughs> you're welcome. It's so good that way. You're welcome. In case anyone was curious, and even if you're not, that is how it's done. <laughs> Some folks want a floating sandwich. Also, add butter. No, that is not. We do not add butter. I mean, you, I guess you could like butter the, like if it's on a roll, I guess you could like butter the roll. Nine holes, that's a half a day of golf. But only about 10 seconds worth of work. You could do it. I believe in you guys. Okay, I'm about done here. Trying to find some ones that are just straight. Because I really don't want, you don't want stems. They don't cook, like they don't grind up and they don't cook down very well. And then like you're eating like a bite of stuffing and you just get like a piece of stem and it's like no fun. So I'm trying to just get the leaves off. That is, that is the plan. That's a good one. Okie dokie. I think I'm in an okay place again. My arms are just like completely over your vision. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, that's a good amount of time. We're going to quick chop up some onion. I'm going to grab out the rest of the celery. Probably do another onion in its entirety. If you're chopping up things like onions, celery, carrots, any of that kind of stuff, if you do make your own stock, um, keep, the, keep the top and the bottom of the onion. So 
so I keep like a baggie just kind of filled with like over over you know a couple weeks or whatever I'll keep a baggie filled with like onion tops and pieces of celery and stuff like that stick them in the freezer and then when you go to make stock you just toss them in the stock pot okay more onion going there we go my eyes are not enjoying the onion but such is life Woo! Gonna give these a quick wash so like that goes in the bag leaves are like super flavorful those go in the bag all this delicious 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 stock guys okay. let's see hey Jen Hey, where are you? Welcome. You don't like butter on anything? I mean, I'm not going to ban you, but, like, I don't trust you. <laughs> okay. You don't have to. I'm, I'm peeling the carrots. You don't have to peel carrots. Um, if you give carrots a good wash, like a good scrub, you could eat them and get more, uh, more vitamins by eating them with the thin skin still intact. But this is just easier for me today. So we're going to do that. What? What didn't I turn off? Oh, that's okay. I'm just talking. I mean, it's not, not that big of a deal. I just added to make more stuffing because it just wasn't enough. I like finished it and I was like, nope, this isn't good enough. So, more stuffing. Yo, what up, Tiago? <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh-oh, Miss Kate. Okay, let's keep going, guys. I'm going to turn this back on. Be careful. Is she going to she's going to get cold? Okay, we got some sage. We're back to celery. Lep is helping, guys. Lep is helping by keeping the kids out of the kitchen. That is how he is helping. You finally have an induction cooking plate, and oh my, it's way better than electric plate or ceramic cooking. Yes. Yes, it is. I have, that was one of the things, the, like the most important thing about having, like building this kitchen um, when we got this house to me was making sure that I had an induction cooktop. Um, it was something that I've, I've wanted for like a really, really, really long time. Um, and I'm, oh God, it's so much better than any cooktop I've ever had. Um, it heats up super fast. Um, it's really, um, it's got like really even heating and like the fact that like I can turn it off um, and it's like automatically just like the heat just disappears. It's great. Um, the only thing 
The only thing is that you kind of have to adjust your cooking style um, for like letting something steep uh, or like turning off the heat and letting something sit because if you're not using a thick enough pan, so like if you're not using something like a cast iron, the residual heat is gonna leave the pan so quickly um, because the burner's not warm the way most burners would be warm um, that it, you like lose heat really fast and then it doesn't, it doesn't steep the way you need it to. So you need to like leave it on like one. Like they're like, turn off the heat and I'm like, I will leave it on one for a couple minutes before I turn it off. So you have to kind of like adjust. Um, you're kind of like adjust and like learn how to cook um, that way. Hi, huh? What's far away? The other oh, camera, yeah. He like did it really far across the room and then zoomed in or something. I, I don't know, he said it would look better. I don't know what that means, but I went with it. Hey guys, Rachel's here. <laughs> oh, are we coming on? We're coming on camera today. Nice. <laughs> Right. I brought you two options. Uh, both your options are fantastic. I think you're doing okay. Oh. What? I, it wasn't scrolling and I didn't realize it. My microwave is pretty big. <laughs> it is. Carrie, this is terrifying. It's better. It's like Frankenstein. Would I say it's better suited to crisping up soggy pizza than a traditional stovetop? Um, yes, because when, not if, when your husband burns whatever is on the cooktop, you can turn it off and immediately it stops burning. Yes. What's the matter, Luke? Say what? What? You slid? Get down the cross. On the garage floor. And then I bumped on oh my butt right here. You bumped on your butt? Aw, you poor thing. Come here. It's okay. It's okay, Peanut. You're sweaty. Were you having fun? It's still sore? I'm not going to kiss it, okay? Because it's your butt. <laughs> Why? Look, you want to go show me the bounce Oh, that was not, that was not Kate, guys. That was Luke making those noises. That was Luke. I don't know who would cook pizza in a pan. I, I, it like confused me, I guess, I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, good job, Lep. Way to watch the kids. <laughs> friends over for a Friendsgiving stream? I know, right? Who would have thought to us? Hey, I didn't do it. I said I wouldn't do it, and I didn't do it. So that's not, that's, we've got no issues with TOS. OK, rest of the rosemary. Throw in some more sage. I want to throw in a bunch more thyme. I feel like thyme tends to get lost. It's kind of, I mean, it's stronger than like parsley, but when you have flavors like sage and, and rosemary in something, I feel like you need way more time to combat the other flavors. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. There are holes in the, in the containers that the herbs come in to help them like when they're in the grocery store to like keep air in there so they don't get too moist. Uh, and when we picked all the leaves off last night, I was like, we gotta block these holes. So we, we put it on paper towel. Um, so that's why that's there. Okay, more onion. <laughs> what classic movie has Rachel watched since the last cooking stream? She finally watched Good Will Hunting. And she is probably still, even though she told me she would finish it, is probably still three quarters of the way through Almost Famous. There you go. That's since the last stream. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, that just sounds so scary. I think they should use, they should grind up celery in a, using a KitchenAid mixer attachment for horror films. Like, that sounds scary, man. I wouldn't want to hear that coming down the hallway at me in the dark. Okay. Okay. I've, like, doubled my stuffing. This is making me super happy right now. <laughs> okay. We're going to add some milk. We're going to add some more of the stock. We are making stuffing, Colonel Kalua. We are making my family's stuffing. Um, I guess to, today it's going to be dressing, not stuffing. Um, but this, usually I would um, put this in the bird. Today I'm, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to do that uh, because the day after Thanksgiving, every turkey is gone. Um, it's, well, I guess I was looking for not a frozen turkey. Um, so I, I was looking for things that were already defrosted, young, never frozen kind of thing. And the only things that are available uh, were just the turkey breast um, with the backbone cut out and no drumsticks and no thighs and no wings. Um, so I can't actually stuff my bird this year. But you know what? We're going to make it work. And uh, it's not going to taste as good, but it'll taste pretty good. You can turn this off. I can, whoop, I can hear that motor going. That smells so good. It smells so good. Can I eat this? I liked Goodwill Hunting. What? He was trolling. It's so great. It's one of the best. Can I eat this? Yeah, you can eat it. Just get a bigger bird. Well, if there's no cavity to stuff, then, then getting a bigger bird isn't going to help me. Look, 1,258 turkey legs. The what? sub count is on the turkey leg. Nice. So every time someone resubs, call them turkey Ooh. legs. Oh, that's so good. You okay. Can yeah, you can eat it. I didn't add the hearts in yet. Yes, you can eat this. Right. I want to add some salt. And I'm going to add some more of this. I'm going to use the rest of this stock to help deglaze the pan when it starts to... Um, to get too bad when we're frying this up. Okay, add some salt. I think I'm happy with this. Aw, Tom. <laughs> Don't say that with him around, poor man. Don't deflate the ego. He's a dark lord. He needs it to do a good job. He's a dark lord. He's supposed to be mean. You are a giant man. Yeah. <laughs> now there's the ego. See, <laughs> Tom takes me down. Legend picks me back up. Okay. Carry his four foot tall, left's like five three. <laughs> All right, so I can like just. <laughs> yep. Mm. Oh my God. Full of butter and like crispy and oh my god, it's so good. How long? How long till we can eat that? <laughs> like three hours. No. Okay. Well, you can have some of it when I'm frying it, but it's not gonna taste the same. Okay, let's go ahead and grind up our hearts. I'm not actually. I bought this whole dang thing, and I'm not gonna even like do all of it, but it's fine. Let me go ahead and have a beer. Okay. Uh, about an hour, hour and a half, probably. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just use this one. Okay. I'm going to grind up three hearts. I don't even need the whole damn thing, but it's fine. I don't want to send this through at too high of a speed. Yeah. Because it would go everywhere, and we don't want that. If you're grinding sausage, please don't do it on too high of a speed. That's basically what I'm making right now is sausage. What does she say? We'll add a fourth one for good measure. Little guy. 
Aw, no, Beeb. Hey, Dirt Queen. It's uh, turkey hearts. We do like turkey hearts and liver in our, uh, in our stuffing. Okay, so at this point, I can no longer taste this unless it's cooked, okay? Gonna mix it up real good. And then I'm gonna start frying this. I think what I'm gonna do is fry up just a little bit. Um, there's a very small cavity in the neck cavity um, because they only cut out the bottom half of this bird. Um, so I'm gonna put my own serving in there because like screw everyone else, I'm the most important person, right? I'm making it, so I should get, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna actually fill that with a little bit of cooked stuffing and then I'm gonna throw the bird right in the oven because I don't actually have to have the stuffing done um, since it's not going in the bird. Uh, so I'm gonna throw that in there to start cooking and then I will finish out my stuffing, um, pan frying it uh, and getting it nice and yummy and then I'm gonna stick it in just like a casserole dish um, and get it cooking. Toss our extra pieces over here. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I got a little bit of the stuffing on them and I do not want to cross contaminate anything. <clears throat> okay. I'm a heartbreaker. Oh no. Yeah, isn't that cool? He put the turkey there. He spent all morning like getting all of the emotes and everything like all up for you guys. Right, let's put our milk away. You want some applesauce? Yeah. Well, let's go. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Here you go. Wow, Daddy dressed you real interesting. You look comfortable. <laughs> She's in like really puffy fleece pants with like crazy Aztec design and a watermelon t-shirt. Cause you know, why not? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this over here and we're gonna start frying. And actually I think, hey baby, can you move the, to the camera up there? Can you move it um, to the stove top for me? I'm gonna start front pan frying up the, the stuffing. So I'm gonna pan fry up just a little bit of the stuffing and then I'm gonna get the bird in the oven. Um, and then we'll go back to the stuffing. Do you need me to move it over to where I'm going to be working? So you can see. Yes, we'll do this. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to cook in both of them. Okay, we got salt. A little bit of our stock. Got a ton of butter. Hmm. Do you want to, yeah, you can help me um, cook if you want. Yes. You're going to be on camera though. Don't remind me. You can do it. Look, we're going to have a beer mom. We're already drinking beer. What is this? Dude, there's the camera, so watch out. Okay. Let's get All out right. my roasting pan. Ready I'm going to get out my room. roasting pan. This may be loud. I'm, I apologize for any crashing noises that you're about to hear. You muted it, you're fine. You muted it? No, I didn't. Not anymore. Okay. What's not working? 
different roasting pans. Um, All right, come on, guys. Hey, don't do that. Hey, no, no. But we're going to use this one today. Um, if you're using, I guess there's like, I've got, okay, so I've got this one here, Luke, here. On, which Luke. actually has a lid to it, the one that I had the stuffing what? in. What, bud? Other people are coming, they're just not here yet. Can you please relax a little bit? You're okay. Okay, so I've got the roasting pan that you guys have already seen. Um, and that's like really, really thin um, pan and it's got a lid to it, which I think is great if you're gonna be like braising something. Um, but if you're going to do like a roast, um, I don't really like to cover it because if you wanna have nice and crispy skin, then like why are you gonna steam it? So um, one of the things that you definitely wanna do, um, I, what I used to do is put it in that thin roasting pan uh, when I didn't have a nice roasting pan. Um, and then I would stick this in the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that. It just, you buy this from the store. I think they're maybe like 12 bucks or something like that. Um, and then you can set it to whatever setting you want, however high you want it to be. Um, and you basically just kind of create your own little rack. So this fits on the pan. Then I went out a couple years ago and was like, Carrie, you're an adult. You can get yourself a real roasting pan. Um, so now I have a really nice thick roasting pan and it came with this little wire tray that goes in it. Um, you don't want your bird or whatever you're roasting to be sitting directly on your pan. Um, it can burn the bottom or it can keep the bottom soggy depending on how much liquid and drippings you end up having in the pan. Um, and if it is putting some really nice drippings in the pan and you have like some people will cook uh, if they're doing a roast or even turkey, they'll put carrots and celery and things kind of down around um, your, uh, down around the, the turkey. Uh, and so you want those drippings to kind of get underneath there and marry with all those vegetables and not kind of get in the way of the turkey cooking. So uh, I've got my nice roasting pan here and I've got my turkey. Uh, I'm going to fry up, like I said, just real quick, I'm gonna fry up a small batch of the stuffing and then I'm gonna stuff that into this neck cavity portion of the turkey and hope that it just like survives and is okay. Um, it probably won't, but it's fine. I'll, like, I'm gonna stick like tin foil in there and just kind of like try to keep it together. Um, once, so like my family, um, we, we baste, um, but I've read so much about like not basting that I'm not, I'm not gonna do it this year and I'm just gonna attempt, like hope that it works out. Um, we would like pull, like what we like to do um, is we will pull drippings out of the pan and poke it into the breast and like push juice into the breast. Um, that was how I was taught to do it. Does anybody have any like thoughts about whether or not that's like a good thing or not? Cause like, I, I don't know, I may be like ruining my turkey and not know it because I know every time you open the oven, you lower the, lower the temperature and you mess with your cooking time and you mess with your bird and all that kind of stuff. So, well, I don't have it. I don't have it on convect cook. So if I put it on convect cook, this thing would be done in like two hours, two and a half hours, because it cooks in like a third of the time. What's the benefit of doing it the other way? Um, just traditional baking times, really. Convection um, is great because it moves the air around and it's not just kind of like sitting still around it. Um, so you get less hot spots and stuff okay. like that. Um, but it also cooks it so fast and I need the time to make everything else and I don't want it to cook that fast. So okay. we're gonna go normal. I don't know if we're getting lip guac today. What's slightly crooked? The camera? Oh well. No, the outlet. Well, oh, that one over there? I could fix that. <laughs> master baster? Are you a master baster? Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Have you warned them you don't understand sarcasm? I don't understand sarcasm. Yeah, that's what I do. I shove an ungodly amount of butter under and above the, the uh, skin. Absolutely, Dirt Queen, that is the way to go. Is that wrong? Huh? Is that wrong? Is what wrong? To shove that much butter everywhere? Oh, never. <laughs> no, it's never wrong. <laughs> never. Uh, it does seem like they would let the juices run out, but when it's not cooked, it seals up pretty quick. So like, as long as you're not doing it in the last, like. 40 minutes or so, then I feel like it's probably okay. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to throw some butter in the pan. I feel like we should open a bottle of wine. I have a rosé in the refrigerator. You were not joking. I have so much wine. It's incredible. So when I said butter, I mean butter. So this is about like two and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let that melt and get nice and lovely. Yeah. yeah. I would drink more beer here if I didn't drink out so much. <laughs> All right, I'm going to toss this in. I say that's a fairly good amount. And then I'm going to go ahead and just flatten it. And this is going to soak all this butter up. Oh, God, this is going to be so good. I don't even like. I don't typically eat like this, so it's really nice when I do this. pan. I wanted to start kind of, because it's bread, I wanted to start kind of toasting on the outside with the butter. Um, and I'm going to let that just sit for a little bit. And we're going to pull most of that moisture out. And like I said, it's going to start to get kind of crumbly. Um, this one. This one's just faster. Okay. Got it. Do I need to take the off or will it just pull it out through it? Um, oh, you could do, you do, so... Oh, you do this. Oh, it's Sorry. locked. I was there you go. Oh, okay. I thought you had the full little thing for it. Okay, so foil cutter, and then that's open now. So you do this. I did try to help. And then this. <laughs> Okay. And you're just kind of going to mush it around the pan. Try to get it to stick. If at any point you feel like it's sticking too much, I mean, the good thing about cooking with like stainless steel um, or carbon steel or something like that is you don't have to worry about like any anonized non-stick stuff. Um, so you can like super scrape the bottom of it. I typically use wooden utensils anyway, um, like wooden or silicone or something like that. I don't have a lot of metal utensils, um, so it won't really have that kind of problem. You can cook this in a nonstick pan. Just make sure that you, like, it's, like I wouldn't suggest scraping really vigorously. I'd probably tell you just to add s some liquid back in or something like that to try to um, get whatever off the bottom of the pan. But I can just go ahead and scrape. Get this nice and toasty. There's no such thing. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. You get the big one since you are cooking. Okay. Oh, that's so good. I like this gracious Do I have like thought product placement? <laughs> it's like barely peeking through. <laughs> I don't want to cost you your Kirkland brand sponsorship. How much salt is in this butter? No salt in my butter, guys. I do not buy salted butter. Is that a euphemism? No salt no. in No salt in my butter. I, don't, I buy unsalted butter. No salt in my butter. I will add my own flavoring. I do not, I do not get salted butter, especially like if you're baking and stuff like that. Um, it, it messes with the, the flavor of stuff. I don't, I don't do that. I know a lot of people do. I do not. Okay. All right, so this is starting to get dried a little bit more. I'm getting little crumbly bits. We're going to let that keep cooking. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, probably set it at about medium um, so that we don't start burning the pan. And that'll get a little bit of a crispiness, take a little bit more moisture out without me going nuts. So. Okay, I keep rolling. You guys have your mouses all backwards to me. 
Oh, I don't, yeah, I, I yeah. Is that a blind love walking around the house? I've used grass fiber Probably. in the last five years. Can't use any other kind now. I don't know the difference between any of them. Oh, I don't even want to know how good the grass-fed butter tastes. I don't think I can find that at any of our stores. You can totally find it at Whole Foods or New Leaf. You think so? Absolutely. Grass-fed butter would be so good. I love grass-fed, like, beef in general, does so I feel like, like yeah, it probably does. Man. I have developments to tell you about later. You're just going to laugh at me. I already texted Jeff. Okay. He was right. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. What are we doing with this? Oh, we're still Yeah, I'm still. Let's scrape up the bottom. All of these brown bits are just going to make it taste like that much better. Sorry. You right. I'm sorry. Thank you for calling me out. I have no idea. <laughs> Not a bad thing to do. Maurice says, hi, Rachel. Hi, Maria. You met him. Yes, I am. Every time we're in chat, we say hi to each other. Oh, okay. It's our thing. Rams? Really? Still? Uh, I can't see them. No. No Franks. We're good. What does that mean? I hear Owie's coming from bedrooms. I'm sure you may want to go check on that. You may want to go check on that. Kerrygold is really good. When I make um, mom, when I make pastry, I use like I'll use a butter with a higher fat content. Is that what it is? Huh? It's got a higher fat content. What makes what does a higher fat content do? What does it do? Like, it, it tastes taste better. better. Okay. It tastes better. It melts better. It like. Are you gonna judge me if I put this on my it's so good. Something? I'm not. So I'm not there. gonna judge you. Kerrygold is grass-fed butter. Oh, hey, I can get that at Costco. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what we do. Did you, did you see all of the uh, ginger beer that I have in our pantry right now? <laughs> They're $4 off. It was $10.99 for three of those. Usually, it's like 5 bucks in the store for one. Oh, my God. I was like, uh, yes, please. I will like get a free one for every box that I buy. God bless Costco, man. God bless Costco. Everyone. <laughs> well, we already had we already had the Kirkland brand milk. Just keep talking more about their sales. Maybe they'll eventually start paying you guys. Oh, that would be so nice. Any good Black Friday deals? Are we eating for Cyber Monday now? We're go we're already going for Cyber Monday. That is flavor. Trader Joe's has it too? Okay. What about the, what is it, Plurgia or something like that? It's like P L U R G I A. Um, I don't know if that's a store. It's a, no, it's a type of butter. Um, is, that, is that also grass fed? Because that's also like a high, a high fat content butter. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, I'm probably in the way. I don't know if you can see the difference now. It's still a little bit moist, but it's kind of breaking up into a bunch of pieces. It's not just like one big pat of um, stuffing now. So it's going to keep doing that. Try to spread it out. Get my knife. What was that? I said get my knife. OK, let's get to this turkey. Because it needs it. I'm literally going to take a stick of butter <laughs> and just get in here with it. And it's going to be pretty gross. If you want to just like check on this on occasion and keep it from. Um, Sorry? Yeah. I can do that. I need some salt. What's with the knife? What is off, in the way? Is there anything in the way? What is in the way? All this stuff is in the way. Okay. Are we just scraping the stuffing off of the spatula with the knife? Is that what this is for? Yeah, I was like kind of flattening it out and then just taking it and like making one long like pat kind of a thing. 
Okay, I'm going to salt and pepper this bird on the outside. It should be pretty dry, it is pretty dry. Um, let's do this. Yay! Really nice butter, butter, salt, yep. Butter, salt, and pepper. I contemplated since I can't really stuff this thing. I contemplated I, I might cut. I might put some like rosemary underneath it, and like some um, pieces of like lemon and onion or something. Le lemon, um, onion, orange, that kind of a thing, and give it some more kind of like fragrance. Um, kind of not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. We shall see. Okay. We got pepper. We got some salt. And now we're going to go underneath the skin, and it's going to be fantastic. Can you guys see this? Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, I'm just like, okay. No, you, you're good. You're good. I can see that. I'm wondering if we can see the bird. You can, it's probably cooked through, but then, I mean, at this point it's cooked through. So it's, br so if you guys can see, so now like it's starting to kind of crumble and get like broken up into all these little tiny pieces, it like kind of gets really like uh, dried out, which is nice. You take all that moisture out of it. It gets nice and thick. Okay, how do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna cut this piece in half just in case we don't use it all before I get into this. Okay, so in order to get under our skin, we're going to find the part where it connects to the breast. And we're going to just kind of poke a hole. And we're going to get in there. There we go. And then what you're going to want to do this yep, is you're just <laughs> going to separate, just kind of sweep your fingers around. Make sure you don't have really long nails. Uh, you're going to sweep your fingers around, and you're just going to kind of smooth along and massage the, me the, the meat. I, can't make I know. I know, guys. It's bad. It's bad. And you're going to just <laughs> kind of bring the butter in and rub it around under underneath the side. Um, but you can separate out, you can separate the, um, the skin from, from the uh, breast meat. And that's where the butter goes. So I've got started it on this side. And I'm just going to make sure that it's all ready to go. And then I'm going to take that other pat of butter and I'm going to get in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Massage the meat. <laughs> You've never seen this done? Really? Oh, man. And it, honestly, like here, I, 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 I've met so many people. Oops, that was going to be a problem later. Um, I've met so many people um, that, they, I mean, they don't like touching chicken or like touching beef and stuff like that. And so this, like, this becomes a problem in those cases. Um, but it's really, really easy to do. Uh, and it just makes it so much better. Uh oh. Victory gifted Buffalo Bill a sub. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. We didn't have a touchdown dance, but like instead of touchdowns, some primer dance. Like Victor Cruz and his salsa. <laughs> Um, another thing that's kind of important when it comes to doing this, this part, um, so your butter needs to be room temperature and your bird needs to almost be room temperature. I'm gonna get really down in there. Um, if your uh, if your bird is not close enough to room temperature, like if you like just if you try to do this and it just comes out of the refrigerator, the butter is gonna harden while you try to do this on the bird, and like it and then like it, it doesn't stick to it, and it's like not very we fun experience. Mistakes. We have happy accidents. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is turning out not to be as ungodly amount of butter as I. I usually use, but the last bird we had was 20 pounds, so oh, okay. this is like so half. This is like half that. <laughs> okay, 
I'm gonna try to get everywhere. I love that it looks like you're wearing a glove because you have so much butter on your hands. <laughs> so much butter on my hands. It's just, I don't know, I like playing in mud, so like I feel like this is just the next best thing. It's basically the same thing. I think I am. I think I'm gonna put some like herbs and stuff underneath this sucker. There we go, bud. Okay, now a lot, a lot, I did, I, I call them buds. Um, we're gonna put a ton of soap on my hands to get this butter off. <laughs> It is. You can um, have you. Can you scrape the pan, or is the pan good on the bottom? That looks really good, actually. I think you're probably about ready to go. Yeah, that looks nice and crumbly and crispy. You've got some. So, she, so Rachel, the so the skin on the bottom of the pan, um, like it builds up, and then you kind of scrape it off. It's kind of the same. Like if you make like a paella. Um, there's typically like a skin uh, crust that forms on the pan underneath all the rice um, and that's gonna give it like a, just a nice browned toasted flavor um, and it's like really really nice okay so if you can tell now much much different I'm gonna go ahead and just shove this over the camera so this is where we started and now we have this like crumbly toasty really delicious goodness um, I'm gonna turn this off for just a second you are welcome to taste that if you want you want a fork Yep. Thank you. And then I'm going <laughs> to shove that in this little tiny neck cavity here. Um, and then I'm also going to put some of the leftover onion pieces. Isn't it good? It's so good. I'm going to put some of these leftover like onion pieces. I think I might, um, how do I want to do this? Do I make? Am I making any more stuffing? Yeah, we got to finish that whole thing. But this was just going to go, what's going to go in the bird. I wanted to get the bird in the oven. Okay. Um, so let's see, do I want, I don't think I want that. I'm gonna get a couple pieces of rosemary and stick some sprigs of rosemary in there and I'm gonna cut up some fruit and stick some fruit and onions in there. Um, I don't, it's gonna fall through the, um, the bottom of like, cause I've got this rack here. I don't wanna, I need things to be big enough to kind of fall through. I was thinking about some garlic but I'm not gonna do garlic. Okay, I think I missed some stuff. Good Lord, I missed a lot. Of what? No dilemma, subscribing for eight months. Let's get really down in there. I did, and you know what? It felt fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Quite a chat. That's. Is that Keanu Reeves? It is, it is Keanu, Keanu? it is Keanu Reeves. Thank okay. you, Shu, for that. Couldn't tell if it was Keanu Reeves or um, Dave Grohl. Good, Rachel? It was so <laughs> good. <laughs> Clip it, chat. Good, she's chef caliber, that's so cute. Of not being too inappropriate with I'm our bro lips wife. Of not being too inappropriate with our bro lips wife. Aww. Guys, I'm more inappropriate. inappropriate. Than, I'm more inappropriate than he is. Be so you guys can just call that quits right now. Okay. It felt fantastic. <laughs> it felt it felt so you fantastic. Know, just <laughs> okay, I want to try. Immortalize it forever. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Okay. I will continue to let you cook for me, Karen. Thanks. I feel so honored. <laughs> um. I'm only over here once a week. It's fine. Okay, let's do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you out front. <laughs> Can you clip a, cu like a couple pieces of rosemary, like yes. this big, off the bushes in the front? Yes. Just do like two. I think I love how you know. You assume I know what rosemary looks like. There's only two bushes. There's only like it's just the row of bushes in the front. You know what rosemary looks like. <laughs> Don't kid with me. Okay, I'm I'm in my refrigerator. I know you hear me kind of rustling around. I'm trying to get into the, the bag of lemons that I have in here. Okay, so I'm going to slice up some lemons. I'm gonna slice up some lemons. I'm gonna clear a little, little space you can see. Um, I'm gonna put some of these underneath my turkey. And then same thing with the orange. 
So I've got a half an orange here. Huh? Is this enough? Yes. Okay. I, um, I sliced up some orange and had it in my brine last night. So this is the remainder of that. So this orange is going to also go underneath my turkey. Since I can't stuff it, I mean, why the fuck not? Why not? Let's do it, guys. OK. We this is the first time I've ever done something like this. So hopefully it works out. OK. The voices that you're currently hearing, if you're hearing any voices, um, one of my coworkers, Vanessa, is here, and her, her boyfriend, Spencer, is with her. So I'm going to just kind of like hang these, because like, I don't know what else to do with them, and I don't want them to fall underneath the turkey. Um, so I'm going to like throw those there, and then just kind of layer our lemons and our oranges underneath it. OK. And then, where'd the rosemary go? Can we see how oh, tall Spencer blind. is? Blind. I'm taller than Spencer. You're not. That's how tall he is. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna hang that out on top. That's gonna be real nice. <laughs> if you would like some rosé, I have a bottle open already. Okay. Cause, you know, cause it's us. We brought, are you gonna drink Stella? It's, you're gonna drink Stella? These are Karen's that we brought. Oh. Awesome. We just brought everything, because that's what you should do. Yesterday, is that? People just brought Rachel, did you just drink from my wine? I think she did. Oh, crap, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's OK. I don't I care. I cooties, I promise. I got my circle, circle, dot, dot. I got my cooties shot. Oh, circle, circle, square, square. Now I have it everywhere. Oh, that's dark. OK. Oh, my god. Um, stuffing. So now I wanna, what I want to do before this goes in, um, typically what I would do is take stuffing that, like all of the stuffing, and I'd stuff the cavity, but since we don't have a cavity, um, I'm going to just like stuff this in this little kind of, there's like a little, little neck, little neck place here that they like forgot to get. So I'm just going to do this. This is really hot stuffing. And I'm going to kind of just shove this right there. I'm going to shove this in the bird. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, I know that somebody had mentioned previously, and I forget what the name is, I think it started with a P, um, that, that you um, know somebody who swears by putting the bird upside down um, and just like kind of cooking it breast and then flipping it over. That is definitely a good way, like that it makes it juicier and all that kind of stuff. It's definitely a way to cook it. Um, it's, it's non-traditional, it does work. I've cooked it that way before. Um, what you do is you flip your bird upside down until it's 145 degrees. And then once you read 145 degrees, you flip it back over um, so that the breast side is up. And then all of those juices that kind of gathered into the bottom of the breast, when you flip it over, they start to kind of sink back down. Um, and and it, does, it does work pretty well. So I've got, let's see, I've got my bird kind of hanging out here. I've stuffed just that little cavity. I think this is going to be my helping of stuffing. <laughs> And screw anyone else who tries to take it. Um, and that's going to go into the oven right now. Lots of washing hands. OK. Are you going to run in that outfit? No, we brought clothes. OK, good. We just came from lunch with our parents. OK. In my birdie goes. Bye, Birdie. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go back to our stuffing. Um, and we're going to start two pans. We're going to do this in earnest now. And I know I'm kind of cross contaminating because I shoved this spoon into the bird. But this is going to get put into a casserole dish and cooked through. So I stopped cooking them. No, this is done. We have okay. to cook this. Um, this is going to get put into a casserole dish. And I'm going to like pour gravy and stuff over it. Um, so I totally don't mind that, because it it's going to cook back through. So let's see. How do we want to do this? I think we are going to need this guy up here. And I am very short. So I'm going to use my handy dandy stool. Because we are blues clues now. Oh, we're going to get this. 
You guys don't have to whisper. They can't hear you. OK. So whatever we're going to cook, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put into this dish. I think it's like a 9 by 8 by 11. Hey, what do you know? It's a piece of paper. Um, <laughs> wow, we work with way too many print materials. Um, OK, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start kind of spooning it in. And that's going to go in there. A little spoon's gonna spoon it in. Um, okay, so I'm going to take yeah. butter yeah, again. The... Yes. Oh, you have to oh. turn the power on, oh. and then you can turn it on. It's my first time. It's your first time. It's okay. Okay, so butter. How much do we want it at? Oh, these butter. Are both for. Yeah. Yeah. Eight is eight is, good eight is a good temperature. Eight is a good temperature. When are you gonna get those cool blue iron cast iron? Oh cast iron. God, I want a blue skillet so bad. Okay, so guys, this is the, this is the next foray. Are we ready? So now, now that like I can afford real pieces of things and not just like get like the Calphalon cook set that has, which is still a really nice. I'm still it's still a really nice set. I'm gonna say that I I, I will not like I will not um, completely say that it's like bad or anything like that because they're not. They're good. That's a good. Will. They're a good cooking set. Um, you, c I, I'm gonna start buying like curated pieces for like my kitchen. And Most people curate their home. Carrie curates. Their home. I do. I have no pictures. We've been here for three years. I have no pictures on the walls, guys. I, bought I have no decor in this house. For our office, and I still decorate my office normally. Yep. All right. Let me Throw it in there. I'll put it in for Nothing you. Nothing big. <laughs> um, Throw it in there. I think you're gonna need a wooden. So yeah, so I'm gonna start curating like all the pieces in my kitchen and get the things that I really want to get. Um, and one of those things I've been I've been researching heavily carbon steel. Um, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's heard of that, um, but it's essentially like nonstick without it being like anonized or having any other kind of chemical fil film. Um, it's lighter than lighter than um, cast iron, um, but it heats kind of in the same way. Uh, and there are, there's a company that's out of Seattle. Um, yes, there's a company out of Seattle called Blue Skillet. And they make their own carbon steel pans by hand. And you have to get in a lottery. Like you apply to a lottery to see if you can get, purchase a pan. And then if you are, like, Wait, yeah, if, oh my God, I know, right? If you make it into, right I can't tell you're right-handed. If you make it into the lottery, um, then you're allowed to purchase stuff. And so I, I'm going to apply. I'm gonna let you buy stuff for me. I'm gonna apply. They're really, really, so really what expensive. Carbon fiber and carbon steel. I guess the material, but carbon fiber. You know why I said carbon fiber now? Right? Yeah, carbon fiber is plastic. That's not, not going to be great. You have a carbon steel wok, right? I want to wok. I want to get, like, at a minimum, I want to get, like, they have a 10-inch and they have a 13-inch saute pan, um, which I'm, like, totally, oh, God. I, I just, I'm, like, looking at everything. But it's, like, okay, so the 10-inch, I want to say, is, like, $260. Like it's a ridiculous amount of money. It's a ridiculous amount of money, but it's like it's the same kind of thing with like a Lake Crusade. Like you spend a boatload of money getting like a Dutch oven or a skillet or something like that, but it's a piece that you can use and like your kids can use and their kids can use. Like if you take care of the stuff that you have, then I mean, ugh, I I really Carrie's want it. trying to justify her two hundred and sixty dollars saucier. <laughs> I you know what justified you know what's the real thing? justified. A I yeah. Just yesterday, so yeah, it's saucier. Yeah. <laughs> it is a saucepan. Oh. Yeah. yeah. A saucepan. Yeah. Like, yeah, a saucier. Oh, I, I <laughs> <laughs> I'm a saucier. <laughs> Use it on stream, then it's a business expense. That's the plan. That's the plan. I mean, like, yes. Yep. I, I feel like I should do. Oh, Dirt Queen is gifted a sub to Louis Oak. You're welcome, Louis Oak. You can thank Dirt Queen whenever, <laughs> whenever uh, is convenient for you. But like, really do it now. <laughs> do it. Huh? That's a moderator commenting. 
No, the red. No, oh, Sadie, someone's mentioned either left carry. Or oh, left. that's that's just like framing. Oh, you, like they we they can't you stay they here. can't see that. We see yeah. that. Well, yeah. If you're talking about the red square, like. No, no, on like the in the well, the other red square on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, that was yeah, I'm not very descriptive. That stuffing smells so good. Dude, it's so good. Oh, is that the stuffing? Did you? Yeah, oh, did you? Some, it's right here. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm offering your sauce your sauce There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so oh my god. Good. There you go. It's so good. It's so good. Oh gosh, there's a ball, there's a beach ball bouncing around in my living room. So if you, anything goes over the camera, it's Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna play basketball or soccer? You can't really park. I'm ready for soccer because I play basketball tomorrow. Play both or Okay. So yeah, so carbon steel is like the new thing that I'm looking to do here. Let me get in here to help you out. No, because it just, it takes longer when I'm like making you do two things at once. I had to turn it down from, it was at eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some burst. That's okay. That's good. I want, I want. We want the like, char. Yes, I want char. I want like toasty brown pieces. I want to take all of the moisture out of this. And replace it. so dark. And replace it with stock. <laughs> Wait, so you make stuffing for the turkey and then you make stuffing just to eat? I make stuffing for the turkey, but my turkey has no cavity, so I can't stuff the turkey. So now we have dressing. <laughs> There's no cavities for you to plug? No. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. You want to say that into the mic? <laughs> Do you want to say that into the mic, Rachel? I think you should. <laughs> this has become an X-rated cooking stream, and I apologize for all of you who have children. <laughs> Don't you dare. Can I have the rotating Apparently, just keep my mouth So for good pans and pots, you need to win a lottery to get them. Isn't that how socialism works? No, that is not how socialism works. Good try. So what did you miss, Colonel Kalua? You missed you missed Rachel being completely inappropriate no. off off audio, so you guys didn't actually get to hear it, but I heard it, it, and it was great. No, they didn't hear it. Okay, good. <laughs> Leopard? I don't know where Leopard is. I think he's out front hanging out with Luke. He is. They are blowing bubbles. It's important business. Oh, bubbles are important business. That is true. Which is mostly bubbles. Nice. Bubbles. <laughs> put on mic. Put a mic on Rachel. What did she say? <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> Chuck has vanished, and this is now a permanent cooking stream. It's true. Oh, shit, I forgot I was cooking, too. I'm so sorry. That's OK. I'm trying to, like, scrape the bottom of this one. We are still in a good place. The only thing is, I think we should switch sides so that we're not yeah. doing this. Because I am left-handed. I am left-handed. Try not to block the camera. You are doing a great job. Rip lip. We did get a new microwave. We got a new microwave because our other one broke. Is this that it's, different? It looks exactly the same, except this one has a melt marshmallow setting, which Ooh. I'm on board for. What? I know. I don't even know what it means. I just need to try it. Like I need to experiment. S'mores. Because it seems like amazing. Did you have a repairman or did you just buy nope. it? Nope. We bought a new one and Chuck did it. Oh. And I like I had somebody that was going to put it in for me. Yeah. The guy that built the house was gonna come back and like put it in. And then like Chuck was like, I'm just gonna do it. And then like I came in one day and he was like, So do you notice anything different? <laughs> and I was like, No, what's up? And he's like, the microwave is new. And I was like, oh, but it looks the same. So I like, how was I gonna know? <laughs> and he was like, you know, you could at least say thank you. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> You could fit a dead body in it. You could fit a dead body what? if it was chopped up into pieces. Hey. <laughs> I eat left-handed. Yay, you eat left-handed. Do you write left-handed too? What about sports? Are you like truly left-handed or are you kind of like ambidextrous? 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 How do we say that? Ambidextrous. Wait, ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. 
ambidextrous. Oh. I don't know. We're good. <laughs> You're ambidextrous with my legs. What? What? Can you like you use both legs? legs when you walk? Good for you. Oh, that's funny. I like to hop around on one leg. <laughs> I'm left. I'm. I am. Okay. I am not truly left. I am left-handed when I drive. I am left-handed if I eat or write. Um, apparently, I play pool left-handed, and sometimes I shoot left-handed. But like most sports are all right. Like I, my my main leg, like if I'm playing soccer, is my right leg. I kick with my right leg. I throw with my right hand. I can throw with my left hand. Not as good. This is not good. Oh, sorry. I should um, have the bottom of the pan. And then I turned off the skillet. That's what I was trying to turn back on. It's on power boil right now. There we go. Um, this is actually pretty good. I'm good with this as a texture here. We're going to toss this in and move to our next batch. And yours actually looks like a, maybe a little bit more, but it's almost done. Um, that sounds pretty left-handed. Yeah, I don't know. Or soccer for weird people. Yeah, football. Yeah. I'm in football. Well, is it you? Football. football. I gotta say, like one of the coolest parts of like like my life was when I went into high school and they had left-handed desks, and I was like, I don't know what this is. This is magic. Bless you. And I got really, really, really excited that like I could sit in a desk and like rest my elbow on something and not be like floating in midair. <laughs> it was fantastic. That's good. Do we need to put more butter in so it doesn't stick to the bottom? Yep. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. No problem. We'll just add butter now. Yay. <laughs> How it works. Shoe chef. I can't say it. Shoe. shoe I almost did it too. Hey, shoe. She's the worst shoe chef ever. Wow. She's not. She's a great shoe chef. We, it is a very large microwave and we are two petite humans. So, por que no los dos? <laughs> It's interesting weed in the pan. Um, you know, time is an excellent thing. Uh, and that's the second time somebody said that we've had marijuana in the house. We do not have marijuana in the house. What? Thank you for asking. <laughs> of all the things to cook it into, <laughs> stuffing. You swap your knife and fork when you eat. See, I don't do that. I read somewhere that Americans typically swap their knife and fork um, and that like Europeans do not. I've never swapped my knife and fork. Oh, my fork is always in my left hand, my knife is always in my right, and I don't like interchange them. So like I guess I don't know, I just Listen, I'm not, whatever, it's fine. I'm not dually handed. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm being facetious. We just Aww, Clover. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna interrupt for just a second. I'm a great shoe chef. I've put my fucking soul into my craft, S-O-L-E. I'm just saying, that is an excellent pun. I thank you, sir. I'm a great shoe chef. I can't even say that. OK, I put my fucking soul into my craft. Also, he lost his shoe. Is trying to give us Spanish words by saying, salsa, tequila, corazón. <laughs> salsa, tequila, corazón. You know what? It's true because salsa and tequila are my heart. So like, I'm on board with this. <laughs> All right. How are we doing on this one? Maybe I should. Keep that one's good. In the that one's good. We can toss this in. Okay. All the little crumbly bits are going in. It is a lot of wrist work. You might be sore tomorrow. Who knows? I can't make any comments because it's not family friendly. <laughs> okay, I need, let's see. We're going to put the last of the 
Mohicans? The, the last of the Mohicans into the pan here. I haven't seen that movie in my life. Maybe You've never seen, seen that movie? Have you at least read the book? There's a book. Oh my god, yes, there's a book. Did you know there was a last of the Mohicans? <sighs> yeah. I can oh. let you borrow it if you want. It's literally here in my house. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I told Tori I was going to read a series. Oh yeah, I also told him I was going to read Lord of the Rings. You should read Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's just so nerdy. So? Yeah. If you know what it is, I have the reading comprehension level of an 8th grader. Okay. So I can read The Hobbit. So you can read the newspaper? <laughs> Fourth grader, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rachel, I'm going to give you a tip here. You ready? Okay. If you choke up on the spoon, and don't have down here, it's much easier on your wrist and your arm. So the the closer to like the closer to the action end of whatever tool you're using that you get, the more control you have over it. This is a good wholesome family stream, not <laughs> There is some corazón in this dressing. There is. I did grind up some heart into this. We put heart in this, guys. Heart and soul. Oh, no. Are we... Are we having issues? I am not. Sorry, baby. Yeah, apparently the neighborhood just decided that they like needed. It's so pretty. Okay, I can help again. No, I the this burner kept turning off. This looks super good. I realized it was off for like a hot minute before. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna eat all this stuffing, guys. Where are you going? Kate, you wanna see what you wanna see what we're cooking? Okay, so once this stuffing is done. She's preoccupied. Once this stuffing is done, we're gonna have the beer mile after drinking a whole glass of wine. Let's do it! Yay! Let's do it! This is kind of hot. Is Karen coming? She's not gonna drink the beer mile, but she's gonna drink her later. Okay, cool. Okay. Nosy as hell, and I need to know. But I, I just I have Spencer like, for an update. Oh. Yeah, like I don't want to like pressure either of them, so like I didn't ask her, even though I wanted to. But then I got told you last night. Thanks. It's like no, it went well. But they were. Yeah. Okay, so let's turn this up a little bit higher. We're gonna get this dried out real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, they went home together too. And by that I mean Travis was already. He was taking Sammy home. He was already back here like on that Nolia. Okay, chat. We're on the wrong side again. Switch places with me. <laughs> I'm not used to having someone cook with me. Good for Travis, man. I would have been like, so there's this great app called Uber. I know. No, he wanted to go to me. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is actually looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so basically what we're doing is we're just, again, we're just working out all the moisture, or most of the moisture, from the um, the stuffing, we're concentrating all the flavors in, and getting nice crispy bits off the bottom of the plant of the pan, um, and putting them into a um, casserole dish, which will then get put in the oven to just sit kind of on warm, I think, um, because it's already cooked through. We just need to make sure that it that it stays warm. I am going to cover this. Um, I don't want to lose whatever moisture we do have entirely. I don't want it to turn back into breadcrumbs. I just want it to be nice and delicious. So we are going to do that. I will be adding in um, gravy to this Ooh, and some stock and stuff like that. Um, and then putting, like at that point, I'll probably put the oven up and let it really kind of like get in there and cook in the stuffing. What? Are we reading? What are we reading? Oh, yeah, we 
I'm getting DDoSed. No. You're getting what? I'm not getting DDoSed. It's the dial service. <laughs> oh no, is it really that bad, guys? Spencer, are you downloading something? No, According I'm to chat, you're downloading down something. I did all that before I came. <laughs> <to you. laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Do you want to explain to chat what you're downloading? It's a family That's friendly. burning. Uh, initially. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> is chat ready for a beer mile, guys? Are we ready for a beer what do you mile, think? Gary? I I I am not I am not tonight? ready for a beer mile. Are we taking? I drank this two of my beers already in this glass of wine. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, Chuck has an outdoor camera so that when the pizza people come, oh, they can see it. So they'll see us chug the beer and they'll watch. <laughs> <the> <laughs> Red Hood. Red Hood says Twitch just found out about the naughty things Carrie did to that turkey and is lowering her bandwidth. <laughs> 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 yes, you are. You guys are ready for a beer mile? Oh, okay. oh man. I kind of like. I kind of want. I kind of want to um, make them race to do like water or sparkling water in between my beers. No. Cause like I've been drinking and I don't know how this is gonna go. I still have cooking to do. Listen, you know what? This is you a drunk Carrie cooking stream. Carrie, you baked an entire banana bread. Drunk. I did. I did and bake a banana bread drunk. I did do that. Chat. We had everybody over like two weekends ago. And we were playing drinking games, and and I did in fact bake a banana bread drunk, and at one point could not remember what I had already done, and had to like step by step try to process like what I had done, and was like, okay, I think I've already done this, I've already done this, and I've already done this. No, I put everything in it. I just like it took me a while to figure out. Like I like completely lost all train of thought, and was like, I don't know where I am, um, but it worked out, and and it was very good. Um, it was very good. <laughs> Especially like, I mean, like when you're drinking like banana bread, it's just fucking delicious. <laughs> I normally like banana bread, and that was the best banana bread I've ever had. It was, it was really good. Made me a convert. I was very, I was very proud of that. I'm actually, it's probably one of the things I'm most Carrie, proud of. Is this Sorry, all? Luke. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> is this all me just throwing stuffing everywhere? Yes, this is you. <laughs> Babe, did you want to set up? Did you want to set up for the beer mile? Oh, you can't. That's um, a setup by the IT guys. They shouldn't. That's that's kind of like jailbreak. They shouldn't have that any access to that computer. I've had that computer. I've had that computer for a really no. It's a separate computer. I've had it for a really long time. Oh, no, no, no. They don't have access to that. You can turn off auto update. Just through system preferences, I'm pretty sure. Do you know how to get there? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. System preferences. Yeah. Yeah, we were just looking at it, but I don't think it was a way. Oh. All right, we're almost done. Okay, yours is good. You can toss yours in. We'll turn off the burner. That's done. I'm almost I done. Actually, I'm going to turn this burner off and turn this burner on. Oops. Now I'm flinging stuff. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and do that on the other side of me. All right, do you want to clean this off? Okay. <laughs> With, no. Yeah. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to take off. Excess. This is very nearly done. Okay, so we're also going to be doing, um, like I said, we need to finish that our apple cider caramel, um, and then we're also going to be doing um, some Brussels sprouts and some green beans and some mashed potatoes. Um, so that's kind of our next step. Our, our um, turkey went in the oven at about 145. Um, so I'm gonna check it at about 
315 and see how it's doing um, and, and kind of see what temperature at. Things that are like at 15, okay, so, okay, let me give you some, let me give you some information here. Um, so when you cook a turkey, you can cook it a couple different ways. I know that we kind of talked a little bit earlier about cooking it upside down. Um, until it hit 145 degrees and then flipping it back over until it gets to 165. Um, 165, your turkey is done. Um, do not take, I, I know like when you're cooking like something like steak um, and you want it to get to like a medium rare or something like that, 135 is that temperature and so you can take it out um, a couple of degrees more, like a couple of degrees lower than that because you'll have cooking over. Um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Um, you'll have cooking that kind of um, keeps going after it finishes, uh, but you don't like you don't ever 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 with any kind of poultry um, want to like undercook it and hope that it kind of makes that temperature um, after you take it out. Um, carryover cooking, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, you're not gonna, like, like don't trust carryover cooking. At 165, you can then take it out and call it a day. This is done, I'm gonna put this in. Um, so, so at 165, I'm gonna take it out. Um, but because we brined it, um, typically turkeys that are brined cook faster than a, just a turkey. Um, I just turned the Wi-Fi off on that, it works. So. Are we good? Okay, um, so so I can't use that at all. Okay, chat. I can't read chat anymore, so I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, typically, a turkey that is brined cooks faster than a, just a straight up traditional roasted turkey. Um, so what I'm gonna need to do um, is kind of keep an eye on it. Um, this this turkey, like I said, is it's almost 11 pounds. Um, so if you're, it's not stuffed, which means I'm looking at about 15 minutes a pound. Um, so I'm expecting it to cook somewhere between, you know, two and a half, three hours. Um, and I'll just go ahead and I'll check on it um, at about like maybe two hours, two and a half hours, something like that, uh, and see and see where it is. Um, this is magnetic. Um, it's just my handy dandy thermometer here. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll kind of just like poke this in, take a look, take a gander, if you will, for the pun, uh, and, and see kind of where we're at. Um, but right now my, my stuffing is done. Um, I'm gonna just like let this hang out. Um, it does, because it do, I do have the um, hearts kind of in here, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this does stay warm. I don't want this to go under 100 degrees. Once it starts going under 100 degrees, um, bacteria will start building up in it, um, and I don't want anyone getting sick. So I'm going to put my lower oven on 200. Do I have a lid for this? I don't think that I do. I'm going to cover it in tin foil. Whoa. Guys, I don't know how well this cooking stream is going to go if I try to do a beer mile and then keep cooking. That's going to go great. I don't know if I should have had that glass of wine. We had a glass of wine? Yeah, I had a huge glass. Rachel's like, oh, I think I over poured this. And I was like, it's fine. So now um, I've had a very large glass of wine and I'm and attempting to do a beer mile. I may drink sparkling, some sparkling soda, some Kirkland brand sparkling soda for the plug. Okay, so this is gonna go into my lower oven at 200, just kinda hang out. I've got it covered, so it shouldn't dry out very much. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and move outside for the beer mile. So, uh, have right fun. Now. Are we not? Oh, are we not ready? I, I, I can keep doing other things. Uh, yeah, we are going to continue making our apple cider caramel. No, I, I just, I was gonna set this up. Well, I can keep doing this if you need time. Why is this going to set this up? Set, set what up, baby? Chat. Oh. If I turn this on, DDoS stream. Okay, so what do you need me to do? I was just going to set up chat and alerts on this. So I can read it? Okay. Or are we going to set up for the beer mile? Set up for the beer mile. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I'm tall, Mama. Okay, wait. You are tall. You're so tall. I'm taller than you. Have the experience of more technical difficulties. I'm taller than you. Yeah, you're taller than me. Whoa. 
apparently I'm authorizing this. I'm just going to keep doing what he was doing. Titanic. Oh, goodness, maybe not. I, oh, he. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know what he was doing with my dashboard. So I'm just going to pull up, you guys. on my app, and we're going to use my app. I'm also going to turn off the sound, because like nobody needs that shit. There we go. Hey. An amount of bacon, hello. Welcome. In case you're just joining us, for anybody just joining us, We've done two things so far this morning. Uh, we've made our stuffing and fried it and got it in the oven. And we've also gotten our turkey prepped uh, and in the oven. Uh, I, have, I have behind me um, some apple cider that I've cooked down um, to essentially a paste. I think I actually let this cook too long. Here you go, you can see it. It's not burned. We're still, oh, there you go. We're not, we're still in a good place with this. I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid to this and just soften it up so that it becomes more of a sauce. Um, and this is gonna go into some caramel that I'm gonna make with a dry, um, I'm gonna do a, a dry caramel. So sometimes um, you would see people doing like water and sugar to make a caramel. I don't, uh, I'm not doing it that way. I'm putting straight sugar into a pot dry and letting its melting point kind of create the syrup on its own. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and add cream to that after we get that. Um, and then add in our apple cider reduction uh, and add in a couple of other spices, some cinnamon, some cloves. Um, and that's gonna go over some vanilla ice cream that I've already made. Um, Rachel was kind enough to get a, uh, an apple pie from a local bakery in town. And the apple pies are so good. Like there's just no way that I could have made anything up to par. And I'm like, yes, I'm so excited about this apple pie. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and that's gonna like be like a nice addition to ice cream and apple pie later. Luke, Luke no. hey, chill. Okay. I could, oh, I have, oh crap, I missed, I missed stuff. Guys, I missed stuff. The Mega Super Ninja gifting a ginormous amount of subs, 10 subs to the community. Uh, let's see, Falifax, oh God, Dag, Dagger88? I'm gonna go with Dagger88, even though you have numbers in your name, I think you meant to say Dagger. Aldera, Nizzle, Cadenice, Gay Nerds in Space. Hey, I like that name. Plastic Spork, uh, Arcamely, 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 I don't know. We're good. Legend, Remag, and Raggy Omars. You're welcome. Thank him. Karen, Thanks. What's the sub dance? Um, no, there's actually a couple of different dances. I think, like, right now, he's got one that's kind of like this. And he's kind of like... He kind of just like go like this. And then there's like a love clap where he like claps. There's a couple of different dances actually. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the golf clap. Tis the season. Thank you, Mega Super Ninja. <laughs> okay, so um, Lep is right now attempting to move uh, the camera into the garage so that we have our camera for our beer mile. Um, so he's setting that up. I guess what I can do uh, is go ahead and start making my caramel um, because, like, why not? Um, and then when we come back from the beer mile, I'm going to start doing the Brussels sprouts and I'm going to start doing the mashed potatoes. Um, green beans and rolls are going to come last. Um, in the last like 20 minutes or so of cooking. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab cream out of the refrigerator. We need to heat this up and get this almost to a boil. For the caramel sauce. So what are we making? The Brussels sprouts, the mashed potatoes. And the green beans are last, and then the, bro and the rolls. Okay. Yeah. 
No, okay, so I bought I bought rolls that I thought were a different kind of roll, but they're like not. So um, typically I go and get a roll that you have to let proof on your kitchen counter for like six hours. So it like defrosts yeah. and they poof up and yeah. like prove. Uh, the ones that I bought this time are called like Sister Schubert rolls. I've heard a million things about how good they are. I have apparently never made them. So we shall see how that goes. Oh yeah. Okay. They were good. Okay, we're good. Nice. Gosh, why is everybody talking about this microwave? Yes, this is a microwave. This is a 2.1 cubic cubic feet microwave. It's got a three a, th a three f whatever settings. For the fan, four, oh my god, five settings for the fan. Off, high, medium, high, medium, medium, low, low, and off. Wow. High, medium, high, medium, low, and off. That's, 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 that's kitchen five extreme. settings. It's amazing. Uh, but also, this is our second one in three years, so like, good luck. What? I was going to say, you should get sponsored by KitchenAid, but maybe not. Carrie, yeah. you're going to sponsored by Bud Light, KitchenAid, and Kirkland? Come on. Yes. Dude, if we could do that, that would be fantastic. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Are you Hawaiian out? rolls, potato rolls. Potato rolls you're, are very good. But I'm not, no, we can go out. Are we done? Are we ready? We can, well, slowly start to transition, yes. Okay, how are we slowly transitioning? What do I do with this? We're going to, oh, you probably take that off for the stream. I should probably take off the mic. What do you guys say? Should we take well, off the mic? Yeah, no one wants to hear me huffing and puffing while yeah, I attempt to run. It won't go that far. Oh, it won't go that far? Okay. Chad does want a microwave cam. They do. That would actually be really funny if you could do it without blowing the camera. Okay, so yes. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so there's a fan underneath here, and it pulls up into that. So yes, I do. I do have a hood. Um, it's just hidden. <laughs> Um, Florida allows, okay, hit you with some knowledge. Florida is, it, it does not allow open containers. However, however, that rule extends past 50 feet from the entrance or exit of an establishment. So as long as the beer, liquor, wine, whatever you're imbibing that is, has alcohol in it is within 50 feet of the front door or the back door of the home, then it is allowable. That will ha happen and be that close to our house so we have no problems. We're good. I don't know. Vanessa, where'd you put your beer? Know your laws, guys. Know your laws. Oh. I was no. No, not gonna do it. Okay, ready? Yep. Right. Say bye guys. Bye guys. It's time. It's time. Make mistakes. We have happy accidents.
didn't bring my beer cap. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh, I washed cool. it last night and everything. Oh no! I really want one. I was literally talking to. We were literally saying every I'm like, I want a hat with two beers on it. Vanessa has one, and I want it. Then you sent us a text message like <laughs> two minutes.
Okay. Holy shit. Holy shoot, guys. Holy shoot, guys. Holy shoot, guys. We don't. I know. Look at the kids are around me now. Jeez, guys. What did you find? Holy shoot, Batman. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 Oh, you didn't have to do anything anyone else? I don't know how to do this. Do you know how to shock it a beer? No. Alright, so you need to put the hole in the can. Got it. Then you. Okay, let me get away from this. Yeah, I'll pull a little bit more. Then you pop it just a little bit, you don't pop it all the way, you just oh, have it right on the table. Okay. And then you chug it, because that helps a lot the beer flow better. We had a bottle. Oh wait, you're supposed to what? pop you it. You can't just drink, drink it. Yeah, it's fine. You're supposed to pop it, it and then you fully it. Pop she it. just dropped it and it like snapped in half. That, that was our wedding favor. Or no, it was <gasps> Dude, no, I got it from uh, I got it in the no, bachelor it party. It really was oh. innocent. Like if she didn't even slam it, it just Hey, come here, sweetheart. That's Wait. that's pointy now. It's too hard. It's too she's gonna cut herself on it. I think she got the other end. In her mouth, but not the pointy end. Come on, baby girl. You can run with me, bud. You can run with Rachel, bud. <laughs> yeah, you can run with me. Or you can just be out there. Okay, all right. Who's, who's, okay, it's like, I don't have, I don't have an open can. Center. Hello. Center. You try not to Sir, spray your children you with beer. Do you remember the yes, beach, right? Yes, yes. Do you remember the beach? Didn't I open that yes. up? Why is that down? Okay. Do you remember that they had those like know. Laguna Take Beach parodies? Where's literally just Jessica, 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 Jessica. <laughs> and then it was like Spencer. That's Spencer. 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 Spencer.
was <sighs> Carrie's idea. One good burp and I'll be right? in the Say clear. It. Hey, Kate, wait, whoa, whoa. Ladies, how's it going? Sir. Can I help you? Okay. I need a burp. Are y'all about to burp? Woo. Ah. Right? I haven't had this much fun since like prom night. Halfway, Carrie. Uh, I know. Kill me now. This one always takes the longest. Oh, yeah. <sighs> also, now it's out of the can. <laughs> should we check in with chat? Check in with chat. I think we should. Typically, kinda. This is we've we've made this more fun. Let's 
chat saying? camera i wish i could burp that's the problem it's like i don't burp the same way like I can't too ladylike yeah we're going back buddy to the brewery camera we're just drinking water kirkland brand sparkling water we need someone commentating this fiasco we are purposely out of focus spencer is uh killing all of us as was expected did he have to get did he get, oh he's on the third already yeah he's already I know I don't want I honestly don't want to drink anymore. I had so much wine before this. I still need to be coherent on, on stream, guys. I still need to talk. I still need to make mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes don't happen on their own, you know. Hey, come here. Why? I'm never coherent. Well, yeah. That's everybody from up the street that watches your stream. <laughs> What's the police code for beer? Oh, got out of hand. Look at us go! He is a pure athlete, guys. I will have you know he did a sub five and a half minute mile. What? Ten sixty nine. Beer mile got out of hand. I'll be fine. Okay, I trust you, chat. I'm like halfway through this one. This one's not going down. So <laughs> my problem is, is I like to enjoy my beer. I don't have that problem, so I got my bike. And uh, it's difficult to do that. Are you fucking kidding me? That's what's past you! That's what's gonna lap us. <laughs> if you lap us, you have to drink down again. Uh, no. With your, with your I don't think that's how the rules go. That's how Chuck did it last time, so. What's chat saying? Wait, the neighbor's like, it's totally normal. Yep. <laughs> Florida man running up and down the street with his children in his stroller. <laughs> Checking fire 21. Wave at the you neighbors. bet I'm an athlete. <laughs> Listen, we did wave at the neighbors like this was totally normal. So, the first time getting the keep, mail. I came back and I clicked up their yard. This is for all the fans out there. Spencer, this is for all the fans. Spencer's gonna win, guys. It's gonna happen. I was born for this. Last one. Yeah. yeah. We also, see, you know what? I'll just grab on to oh, and they can drag me right while here. you guys finish yep. like normal. Go, go, me go, 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 Spencer. Go, 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 go. Oh my go. God, he made love to the camera. <laughs> yeah, he did. Woo! <laughs> did you oh, seriously? Wait. There is beer in there. Fuck, run, run, You're run. So that was pretty much amazing. Yes, queen. Oh <laughs> my God. Um, I'm gonna say that probably showed up on camera. That should have been on camera. Oh god, we're so far behind. Oh, oh. there's okay, I see that. Hold on, no, I think. Hold oh, the phone. Oh, so you can see us walking. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Wait, so how far do I have to run we're so the camera back sees in. me running? <laughs> okay, no, 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 they wouldn't have seen that. They wouldn't have seen that. What? No, they just, got, they just got him. They didn't get the lawn. Oh, good. Oh. I like how you can just see us all bent oh. over the camera. Uh oh, he's walking. He doesn't even care. Guys, he's so far ahead of us. He doesn't, I even, know. Need to, he doesn't even need to work at it. Do we all have two more after this? Can I just sit and enjoy? No. I have this one and then one more. Yeah. Yeah, I have this one and one more. I'm, I'm like okay. halfway through this. So am I. Want to carry cheers? <laughs> I've been here way longer. No, I don't, don't want to do it. Cheers! Sipped. Spencer's walking is my run. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Spencer. Okay, I'm like here now. I don't even. I don't even care, guys. I can, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna finish this one. I just keep thinking about the fact that I actually have to be personable and talk to people. Can I pretend like this is not empty? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Go quick. Mommy, go quick? Oh, Daddy, <laughs> no, go Daddy. quick? All right, we're calling that one close enough. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll push you, buddy.
Okay, no ma'am. Nobody, not 14 laps. Six, how about one more lap? Number four. Finish strong, Chuck. Woo. I really know it's You were number four. Number two? No, I have one more. Oh. You lost us, man. Oh, shoot. <laughs> the other Chuck is Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> strong. You are athlete. Is he really on his last lap? Chuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Good job, no. Guys. Yes. Good job, babe. Proud of you. We handicapped him and he still did better. <laughs> guys, the last one's the hardest, but I believe in both of you. <clears throat> Break the glass ceiling. It's like a monthly event. I could get better no. if monthly. I could. I wouldn't but like, like do we want to? No. Yes. Because like I don't think we want to get better. <laughs> I do. I want to run a full mile. Uh, quarterly. <laughs> quarterly event. Bi-monthly. Bi-monthly. Okay, I support that. Every eight weeks? We need to set it up. That sounds scary. <laughs> I was probably one need to run 2.3 miles a day, so. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Bi-monthly. Right. So I need a train. Yeah. So we need to go to the Greenway. Okay. Oh, we all chose terrible beers for our last round. I mean, like, mine's juice, so. <laughs> yeah. It's also like 12 ounces versus. No. 16.9? That's 12. Oh, yeah. 12. And that's. Oh, four. our Bud Lights were 16. Are they? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> what? You're saying, uh, left turned down, turned on the Jets. Comes did. walking down second. Look at him go! Woo! Look at him go, chat! This is dad joke right here. <laughs> right? Yep. Alright, you and Spencer, you and Chuck need to race it out for uh, sudden death. No. Can you know what? Because, like, Spencer was a real Oh, look, they're driving. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Luke. Yay! Woo! Good job, you two. Wow. Wow, they look so similar. Yeah. Their faces are the same. <laughs> I told they both look like Chuck. Wow. I think. I think no. it's the forehead and the eyes. You? And they don't yeah, weigh. I'll show you baby pictures later. Okay. So how, what's the difference in how much they weigh? They're not that ten pounds. pounds. Okay. Okay. They feel. Whoa! <laughs> that was almost close. bad. Hey. Kate, where are you going? Hey, come back, baby girl. Should they know they're not supposed to go on the road? They'll stay on the sidewalk. Okay. Like to the end kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Whew. She's doing that thing where she's going exactly as far as she knows she's allowed to go. Yeah. God, this is the most American thing I've done in a hot second. <laughs> Technically, Luke and Kate are tied for second. I mean, that's true. Oh, yeah. He ran the first lap. He did run a whole lap. <sighs> I couldn't believe it. We were, like, all the way at the end, and he was still running with Rachel and I. <laughs> and I was, like, running <laughs> then. You like to run, bud? 
You gotta oh, train yeah. him. He's gonna be the next cross country superstar. You know what? Kate'll be playing soccer. God. Chat, chat saw me stop I can't and, like, do it. On camera. Did you puke? I had to press the whole bit. This is all running. No, wait, Kate, I gotta finish this. <laughs> Rachel, you're fine for third. Come on. Don't get distracted Daddy, by the baby. Stop. Be aware that I drank like Daddy, two glasses of wine before this. Daddy, yeah, you better better slow it down. Daddy, come on. This is about as slow as it gets, so I think I'm there. He one hundred percent just tried to like force me to chug this. Pick it up. Hold on. Smart child. Okay, high five. And then turtle. Turtle hop. Turtle hop. Like this. Guys, he's still hopping and pumping. He did push too big on the stroller though. Yeah, that's <laughs> Please watch Kate. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Is that my third? This is the last one, right? Yeah, that's okay. the last one. Alright, I don't I can't. Oh my god, I was not, 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 pre not prepared for this. Come on, guys, don't let the patriarchy win. <sighs> I'm done. I call quits. This is not my jam. Carrie, just run with it. <laughs> just run with it. <laughs> run with it. Yeah, right? Up to 50 feet. Yeah? You right. Are you gonna run? Hmm. Alright, who's ready for round two? Oh, they wanted us to do sudden death, but... What does that mean? I don't know. Like drink one and go and come back? I guess, but I think I'll... Or free kicks only? <laughs> I think I'm at my ceiling, beer-wise. <laughs> For the next two hours? Yeah. Just pound four beer and, you know, 15 Ooh. minutes, fine. I better grab it with him. Are you third? Yeah, I cheated a little on the beer, but... Hey, the camera's listening. I know. Good job, babe. Ugh. Ow. <laughs> I'm aggressive. I get hype when I'm competitive. Burp or fart, get it out. That's really what right? you have to do. Carrie is absolutely a jock. Yeah. Oh, oh, the camera got me. I think the camera just got me hitting your butt. Oh. <laughs> We're hungover too. It's not that appealing to us either. Everything hurts. But here we are. <laughs> I think you're getting so 
Look what's behind you. Turbocharge. They're stupidly cute and I hate it. Okay, I'm done. Good job. All right. Becoming closer with friends. <laughs> I find me, Kate. You got fifth place. Did we just become Fine. Our friends? Did we just become <laughs> friends? Now? Friends Luke? don't sweat out beer together. Luke, stay are together. Are you tired? Are you um, You want to do more running? Eight meters? You want to run? Nope. Or you want to get? Is a meter three feet, or is a yard it's like six feet? A yard three feet. Okay. Oh. They're both about the same. Oh, but a meter is three feet, but. That SUV, so like, F this shit I got. What, what SUV? Did you pass me There was an SUV that, like, uh, will, like, watch that. Oh, okay. These <laughs> neighbors are weird. friends over and forcing them to run. Are they? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much our <laughs> friendship. Can we just stop inviting friends from coming over? Yeah. Uninvited friends. <laughs> we start every get together with a beer mile. Oh my god. All right, Luke, can you do it? Can you do it? Do it. A meter is 2.87 feet and you're at Yes, it, it is a booty cam now. Bend over, squat, squat for the camera, No, babe. I, I'm pretty sure there's like some terms of service with Twitch. <laughs> can't do that. Because I have like one, like, boob streamers. And uh, maybe like, oh, new thing. Booty, them, booty streamers. So it's just girls topless playing video games? Uh, like, no, you can just see like a bunch of cleavage, I think. Oh. It is a beer cam. Oh, it is. Why is it fuzzy? Oh, um, I don't know. I like that it's slightly delayed, so I'm behind this uh, mm -hmm. pole here. Oh, oh. Put some work there and some 
Mistakes. We have happy I don't know why I thought maybe they had to like take this no. Good job, guys. I never want to drink another beer. Oh, good job, Kate. Good. Carrie has an enormous ton of wine. <laughs> have you seen it? Yeah. Okay. It's in the uh, uh, pantry. Yeah. I was impressed. Hey, why do you keep hitting me? I keep flirting with you. Wait, Kate, go <laughs> lay down. Oh, you found my third nipple. <laughs> Between my first two. All right, Kate, touch his beard and say, please shave. I want to see your baby face. I think it would be funny. You will in like probably a month. <gasps> please, I, I have to No, 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 but you can't have the mustache. I have an interview. I have to go to an interview before I get admitted. When? So I have to shave. Oh, you can't have it for the interview? I can't. No, the beard? No. Uh, I've had some short hair. Where are you going, buddy? Hey, don't see it. Gonna come back up? Yeah. Are we just like staring at the yeah, hat? Yeah. It's as someone pointed out, a booty cam now. Yeah. Twerk. 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 No, Twerk. I don't know Twerk. these people. Twerk. I told them to do that exactly. too. What's the matter? I don't want to violate Twitch's like terms of service. You won't. Wait, wait. How do you? What is it? You pop the booty out? You squat yeah. and you hug the booty out? See, like, watch you. Do it. Pop it and out. Oh my god! Pop, lock, and drop it! So yeah, I, I know someone commented apparently it's a booty cam now. Because we were all like bending over. Bending over it? Looking. What's that? Okay, guys, I gotta like pause for just a second. I will be back. Oh. Mama needs to look up her recipe. Can you make it? My stomach hurts. <laughs> See, now I'm okay, but I also am I'm like def a def on. definitely. Wait, wait, Carrie, look in the eyes. Rachel, just like hit my back a couple times. You want one back? What do you want? All right, I think we're good. Yeah. Hey, I love your outfit. You're so stylish. Right? Look at the fuzzy pants, but the watermelon shirt. She's like, dude, the first it's hot, but I'm still hot. But I'm tropical. So the first time I showed her these pants, she's like, I don't like those. But they're cute. Do you Why like your pants now? Why bigger in the front than in the back, though? Backwards. Are they backwards? Are they the front? Did Chuck no, put no, them on backwards? I asked Chuck and he put them on backwards, and he's like, no, the tag is in the back. But look at how much smaller they are in the it's back. It's true. No, 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 but look at how much smaller they are in the back than in the front. <laughs> She's got a poop up. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't want me to go okay. oh, oh, you want me to go away? You don't love me anymore? A cup of heavy cream. That's what I needed, guys. Can we bounce house? You want to change your pants? <gasps> okay. You would not love me anymore, but I love you. I'm gonna eat your I have, a, I have no eat. pictures. I have no pictures. I have no beer left over from the beer mile. I have no pictures. This is a shame. This is a travesty. It's my own. It's your arm. Travesty. Okay, back to chat. Back to chat. Maybe you're drunk. Maybe you are. Who knows? Okay, am I bringing this back in? Are we like, are we bringing this back in? Are we, are we like, like camera? I'll chill. I love the like Macy's uh, oh, Thanksgiving yeah. parade, but know, right? today's Friendsgiving special. I love it. Oh, I saw the dance please emoji. It's such what a is it? bear. <gasps> Dude, he does it, he does it. He has absolutely no like, okay. Okay. that poor man. He does not know how to dress her. He doesn't know how to dress himself, so.
good. I'm unmuted. That's fine. Well, that was exciting. <coughs> um, all those in favor of Spencer, put a put an F in chat. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Okay, so coming back, I've got some cream on my stove top. I know that he doesn't have, he's got the camera up, but it's not like completely over and I'm still kind of fuzzy. So buddy, this is hot. You need to not be next to me right now. Um, I've got some dry caramel almost finished on my stove top right now. What? I want to do it with you. You want to do this with me? You want to help? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. No, I don't, I don't know how to help you. I don't know how to make this better for you, bud. Here, come here, you wanna see? You can see, but you can't help because everything's too hot. Right, you can climb up. Back, okay, so I've got, in case everybody needs to see, oh God, how do I do this without it being bad? There you go, in my pot. Um, I had some dry sugar that I let just heat up. It is 323, that's right. Um, I let that heat up. I'm just letting all of it melt and get to a really nice color. Amber is your base color. If you want to go darker than that, it'll just give it like a toasty, darker char kind of flavor. It's really up to you about how you want your caramel to be. Um, but I think this is probably really close to good. I turned that down. Um, and I'm just gonna let the rest of that melt. I've got my heavy cream, three quarters of heavy cream, um, at just like slightly under boil at this point. I let it kind of come up to it and then just turned off the heat. Um, and that's gonna get poured into my caramel sauce once that's finished. And then I'm going to add my apple cider caramel reduction to that for some additional flavor along with some vanilla um, and some spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. It's just a sauce for ice cream and pie and whatever we want to use it for. So yeah. Um, and then after that, we'll go ahead and we will do our Brussels sprouts and also our potatoes. I've got, hmm, what's up, bud? Um, can I help you with those, the vegetables? You want to help me with the vegetables? I think we can make that work. Yeah? OK, cool. Ooh, oh, or yes. you can play with Rachel. That sound fun? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stick to your guns? Are you gonna help mommy in the kitchen or are you gonna play with Rachel? Um, help you do it. <gasps> He's gonna help me in the kitchen. You're gonna help in the kitchen? All right, Luke, high five. Guys, Luke is my new sous chef. I'm sorry, oh, I feel like I failed, I'm sorry. All right. All right, this is exactly where I want it to be. Um, we're going to fill this up for potatoes. <laughs> Salt your water for the love of God. If you make pasta or potatoes or rice, please, please salt your water. Salty like the ocean. <laughs> I'm using my stock pot because like, I'm going to make a ton of potatoes. I, I can't read chat from here. My glasses aren't good enough. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess like, I gotta open it back up, I guess. I think Chuck stopped it, I just don't know. Okay. We got water in a pot. There we go. Great. That's right. It is great. We're going to get some salt. Great. We're going to put a password in. Get ourselves some nothing. Ooh. Oh, this is from before. Is it? connecting to chat. Okay, guys, we are connecting to you, so eventually I will be able to read whatever the heck you're writing, because I have no idea at this point. Okay, 
Salt or water? What do you think, bud? Is that enough? Mm. Tell me when. It's ready. It's ready? Okay, cool. Perfect amount of salt. My son knows what he's doing. Um, would you like to? Uh, yes. All right, we're gonna peel up some potatoes. Did you say peel? Yeah. This is for me, okay? What's for you, bud? Yes, that's yours. <laughs> Mommy's not touching that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm what I'm gonna do, I've got my water heating up for my potatoes. Mama? Huh? I'm gonna do it too. Do what, buddy? Do you wanna wash your hands? There you go, even better. There you go. Good. Okay, I've got water heating up right. with, or salted water heating up for my potatoes, which, I mean like mashed potatoes are easy. You throw potatoes in until they're cooked all the way through and then you throw a bunch of cream and butter and sour cream and whatever into them. Um, I've got some apple, or I've got some sugar, which I don't know where, oh cool, we're here. Um, so I don't know if you guys can, you should be able to see. Oh God, we can do it. Wait, oh, oh, he's got it like, oh, he's got it over here. Okay, cool. Okay, so um, there's my, my caramel at this point. I've got a nice amber color. It's not nice, it's nice, not dark. Uh, that just is dry sugar. Dry sugar hits a melting point. You do have a potato. Dry sugar hits a melting point. Not in the water, we gotta, we gotta peel them and cut them. Was this on carrots? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Okay, so now what mommy's gonna do, mommy's gonna do, God, the kid's in the room and now mommy's gonna do something. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this heavy cream that was brought up to essentially a boil, so it's nice and warm, and I'm gonna put it directly into this caramel. And it's gonna sputter. I know, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's gonna sputter, it's gonna bubble, it's gonna make crazy noises. Just keep pouring it in in a slow drizzle. Keep cooking it. And just keep stirring. And eventually, it, like, it'll seize and you'll be terrified. But don't be terrified. Because it'll end up evening itself out. And all that seized sugar is just going to melt right into your cream. And it's going to turn into a lovely caramel sauce. You just got to keep going and don't give up. You can peel that whole bag. Yeah, I will. Here, do you have another peeler? Or? I do not. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like awesome, and then out. Okay. I don't know if chat. I don't know if chat can see this. So you, you, if you notice, like I've got a couple of seized, seized pieces in here that look really scary. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, guys. Just do it. Don't be scared. It's okay. You're just gonna keep going. I guess I've got this on a one. I'm gonna bring this up to like medium low. And I'm just gonna let it go. I'm actually gonna get rid of that sucker. And I'm gonna bring in a spatula. You gonna rinse it, bud? Here, you wanna rinse it and put it in a bowl for me? Yeah. I can, I can try. You can do that? Yeah. Good job. Okay, so everything you rinse, you're gonna put into this bowl. Do you think you can do that? I did it. Here you go. Good job.
Oh god, I'm still connecting to chat. What up? I'm gonna close no, out of. That off. Oh, I can't use it. Okay, we're gonna use my phone. Oh no, your laptop. There you go. Luke is not whiter than my cabinets. Good try. I typed that like 20 minutes ago. Okay. You log in again. Log into what? Oh. Oh, it's already open. Yeah, I've got another one coming for you. <laughs> Hang on. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Pop out chat. He's he's setting. Look, uh, Chuck is. Oh God, let Chuck. I don't know what I'm let supposed to call you. Love is setting it up on my laptop. Okay, so my caramel is starting to come back into the fold here. The pieces of um, sugar that kind of seized up are starting to melt back into the mixture. And now I'm going to add some of the spices that I wanted to add previously. So we're going to add a half teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Um, so I like to use, I don't know um, if everybody, if anybody has heard of like Vietnamese cinnamon um, or Ceylon cinnamon. Um, I, I specifically buy this type because it's a warmer, um, stronger tasting type of cinnamon. And I'm just gonna say, the Come fact on. that I can say cinnamon after running a beer mile and having two glasses of wine cinnamon, is like fantastic. So we are gonna do a half teaspoon of cinnamon. This is a whole teaspoon, we're not gonna do this. Although I would like to, because I really like cinnamon. Okay, so we're gonna do a half teaspoon. We're gonna add this into, and mix it around in there. Oh my God, that smells good. And then we're also going to add in, oh God, like I said, a quarter good. teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Thank you. Thank you. I found, I found Vietnamese cinnamon at Whole Foods, if you have it in your area. Um, there is a company called Spice Traders, I think LTD or Incorporated or something like that, um, that also does, I mean, the whole, the whole store you walk in and it's just like wall, like four two ceiling spice racks, which is like, so much fun for me. Um, but you can also get it there if you want to go online and order directly from them. Okay, let's add a quarter teaspoon as suggested. And then I'm going to be all weird. And I'm going to add my nutmeg by uh, microplane because, like, I don't have ground nutmeg. I just don't. I don't know why. I usually add nutmeg to my mac and cheese in my soups, like my cream-based soups. Um, so I'm just gonna do that here. And I'm not gonna use quite as much as they say. So they say like a quarter teaspoon. I'll probably do like an eighth. Like I'll probably do like half of that. Whoops. Well, there goes that. If I can ever find the nut that just fell into the mix. <laughs> Oops. Guys, I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. Can you put them in the bowl? One, two, three. There it is. I found it. Watch We're going to use another one. That one extra good. Watch it extra good. <laughs> good thing I have multiples. OK. So. I'm just going to add nutmeg here. 
Typically, fresh ground stuff um, is going to be stronger than anything you would buy kind of pre-dried at the store. So it's okay, like you don't have to use the exact same amount, and it's basically the taste. Okay, so I've got about an eighth of a teaspoon ground up in there. Uh, no, I'm good. That smells really good. Um, and then we're also going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I mentioned in previous streams, I mentioned in previous streams that I have a ginormous bottle of this. Um, I, w I don't know how much this was. It may have been 27 or $32, I, I don't know. Um, this is the best vanilla that money can buy, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's Nielsen Massey, uh, and this is their vanilla extract. They also do a vanilla bean paste, and they do a couple of different kinds of vanilla. So this one is the Madagascar bourbon, um, I'm, and I, I like am 100% in love with this. Uh, so I've got this here. This was purchased in Atlanta because I cannot find this. Thank you, bud. I cannot find this in Tallahassee. Um, good job, bud. I uh, I know what actually I say I can't find it. I know one place that sells it, but they sell it for like way too expensive. So like I get it on Amazon if I have to. But like mostly what I do is like every time is every time that we visit Atlanta, I um, I just go ahead and I get like a huge bottle of vanilla bean paste. I'll get like one or two of them, and then I'll get like something like this um, to last me for a couple of months before we go back. But it's typically like the vanilla bean paste is typically somewhere between like $25 and $29 for a smaller bottle than what I just had. So this is a eight ounce bottle. So the four ounce bottle of vanilla bean paste is somewhere between $25 and $29 right now. Um, and then the extract, I want to say I paid $27 for this and this is an eight ounce jar. Um, and the only, I mean, the only real difference, so like here's the thing, so here, you can get the vanilla bean paste, but the only reason to use vanilla bean paste um, is if you want to see those specs. You can use the vanilla extract, you know, for the same, like the same amount, one to one ratio, there's nothing really different. Um, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of the vanilla bean paste, one vanilla pod, if you're using full vanilla pods, are the same, like equivalently the same. Um, and the vanilla bean paste is great because then you can see all the little like specks and stuff, but it's really just a visual thing. So it's not, it's not super important. Like for fla like flavor wise, it's not, it's not, it's just not important. You can go ahead and get that extract and just call it a day. Yes, I did. Cool. Huh? I got, I got it. Yeah. I'm amazing at Mac. Hey, that touch bar is a game changer. It's so intuitive. <laughs> it's it's intuitive that all your devices work the same way. It's a joke. It's a joke for you guys. It's a joke. No, it's. I always make fun of Mac for not being intuitive. Whenever she like complains about something, I'm like, oh, it's so intuitive. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I've still got a couple of pieces. Oh, gosh. Here it goes. It's kicking in. I need water. Couple of pieces. I have a couple of pieces. A couple of pieces. Oh, man. I have a couple of pieces here um, that are still kind of uh, rough and seized. So I'm going to let them just kind of soak into the caramel that I've already built here. Um, I've got the bottom of the pan basically scraped off, so I don't I don't expect anything to start kind of like building or burning on the bottom of the pan. And I'm just going to let these pieces kind of float around and soak into the rest of the caramel. Um, if you can also see, um, this is a little bit of a loose caramel. It'll thicken if I let it start to cool down, um, but I I actually want it to thicken just a little bit more. 
Um, so I'm going to leave it at about a two and a half and I'm just going to let it settle and sit. Uh, and I'm going to let everything kind of like just bleach into it. I'm also going to, at this point, add in my, my little apple cider, apple, oh my God, it's bad. Babe, this is bad. Apple cider caramel sauce. So that's going to flavor that. Uh, light. Okay. So I've got everything in here now. And that's a nice little sauce for us to have later on our ice cream and our apple pie. And you know what? Honestly, whatever the hell else you want. You want to throw it on a roll? Throw it on a roll. We're good with that. Okay. I'm going to cut up a bajillion Brussels sprouts now. That's not a real number. It is a real number. Fine. I'm going to cut up a Google of Brussels sprouts. Because a Google is a number. A Google is a number. Chat, give me the breakdown of high, big numbers, okay? So we got million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. What comes after quadrillion? How far do you get Google? Quintillion, sestillion, septillion, octillion, no, notillion, something like that? Nontillion? Nontillion. That's why I married you. You have all the answers. I don't need chat. Decatillion? Here's your chat, by the way. Okay. Yo, Kuburo. Kaburu, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Blair Stream, above average stream. Retro night with the sub 20 minutes ago while we were running. Oh no, we missed it. And Bry with the two months. She Dog knows. 38 months as a day one reason. Burr, 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 burr. That's impossible with the follow. I need water. <laughs> Are you coming from a family of ice giants? I mean, like Game of Thrones style, because I'm okay with that. He did, he did, man. Soybean farming and dairy dairy work. That's My mom worked for a dairy for 12 years. I love true. the smell of manure. Who doesn't? It smells like home. I mean, me, like, their manure is okay, different than our manure, so I guess it's... Cow manure and okay. Virginia Slims? Mmm, send me back. No. We yeah, you know you were raised on that, but you can smell the difference? Like, in what animal is wrong? No, really? That's awesome. Who's got the bigger guns, carry or lep? So is this the point in chat where like I'm drunk enough to have, what is it called? You have like, oh my God. Let's flex them. What is it called? You like. I can't hold this forever. What is it called when you, when you start to drink your. Calories. What goes out the window? Oh, um. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Now I do. Like your skills at, at like deciding whether or not something is okay or not. Yes. My, my brain doesn't work at this wow. point. Wow, you don't know the word is? Inhibition, that works, but it's, yes. it's, not, it's not exactly what I was going for, but no, that, that's the word. that works. That's it, yeah. How about that resub? No, you're, you're there's a word. Reaction speed? Impairment, like something's impaired. I forget what it's called. Your reaction speed is impaired, but well, that, your yes. inhibitions are lowered. How about that resub? That just happened. I, uh, Colonel Kalua, I can do a, a lot of pull-ups. I'm just going to throw that, that out. Resub. Okay, raise up. Tone Loki. Tone Loki. Tone Loki. Tone Lock. Have you never heard the song? No. Funky Cold Medina? No, I haven't. <laughs> <sighs> I guess Loki is an L-O-K-I, isn't it? Can I show you a picture of your son dramatically Tone Lock. In the Tone Lock PS4. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Let me see. Subscribe for 24 months. Dude, oh, why? Like up. two years? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you no, doing? You're supposed to be nice to people. I'm supposed to be mean. Thank you. <laughs> are you sure? Okay. Are you sure that's okay. two years? Am I? Is this 24 months? Are you sure? Is 24 months two years? It's a big part of the joke. Okay. Come on, God. Like, which one of you is drunk? I'm yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, is he more drunk than I am? Because like, what? Okay. Give me the cash! Give me the cash! The shazzle with a hundred breadcrumbs. I like it. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for those those bits. It's like part of the stuffing. <laughs> Thanks for filling up part of the stuffing. <laughs> I got a turkey. It's pronounced loke, not lock. 
Oh, oh, dude. Did I say Locke? No, I did. I you did, did say Locke. I did mean Loke, not Loki. Loke, you're right. So I was, I was halfway there. No. We we're at, we're at the top, but only halfway there. <laughs> Quarter way. Okay. <laughs> at the bottom. Okay, so we're are we? Camp. Are we? I, I mean, like, we're I'm. Basically. I let's just face it. I'm I'm impaired at this point. Are we? Are we showing guns or are we not showing guns? We are showing guns. We are showing guns. We are doing it. There you go. We're showing guns. It's happened. You're welcome <laughs> to anyone watching. Carrie wins? What? Dude. Damn, Carrie. Dude, Carrie wins. They realized that you were a jock during the beer mile. <laughs> I informed them that they were correct. <laughs> I did do I did do track in high school. I did play sports in high you school. Run with your arms? I don't know what that means. Because your arms are big. No, I did push up. So what does track have to do with your arms? I was a jock. Oh, true. But I also did drama and choir. So like I don't know where the fuck I belong. We're fine. I belong nowhere. I'm a friend to all. <laughs> no, I was alone. Everywhere. I was a lone wolf. Were you really? Hmm? Dude, my, my, um. Well, I mean, I had, I, was, I wasn't in a group. I was just, I went from group to group, so. Okay. My, um, senior, like my prom, I basically just like table hopped. I took no date and I just like went, or, I took no date. Cause you know, whatever. <laughs> I had no date. Um, and I just went table to table and like table hopped and had a good time. Real talk, uh, though, that's what Carrie you do. scares me when she talks with her hands while holding a large knife. You know what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you that one because I am pretty buzzed right now. So you're allowed to be scared. But at the same time, like, I know what I'm doing and you don't have to worry. We're good. <laughs> I have my glasses on. I can't really see. I was told I couldn't attempt my senior prom unless I had a date. Attend? attend? I'm going to go with attend. Sue, really? That's you're not allowed to attend person. prom? Yeah. Wow. That's, a, not, I mean, that's really that's really messed up. That's really messed up. I did not have that problem. Although, I will say this. I'm going to point to chat with the knife. Now, now that you've said it, I need to just exacerbate the problem. So, like, I did take my sister's date to prom. Um, and she decided she didn't really like him, so like I hung out with him for uh, most of the night because I felt bad. But I did also table hop and hang out with my friends. <laughs> no, I know where my glasses are. I just only wear them when I play video games. Okay, so I've got the bottom on 200. I'm gonna take that, the stuffing out in a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna put that up to about 425 for these Brussels sprouts. What? Sweet chat. Yoink my date now. <laughs> no, not really. It was more like a pity. Like I felt bad for him because my sister was like off hanging out with other people and like I didn't know who he, I, like, I never met him before. I like, like met him that night mm -hmm. and I, I just felt bad. And That's I mean, he was, he was a nice enough guy. I just like, I wasn't interested in like meeting somebody new. I had friends and I wanted to hang out with them yeah. and it was whatever. So, but I, I, I had a really good time. Are you doing all these? I'm doing that plus at least a half a bag of that. You want me to do it while you do something else? That would be fantastic. Okay. Thank you for asking. I was gonna say, this looks pretty like leopard level uh, <laughs> job. I mean, like, it didn't start out as a pity date because my sister, like, legit, like, thought he was cute and stuff. But then, like, when she kind of bailed on him, it became, like, a pity friend. But that's not, like, a date because, like, I, would, I had no interest in him either. That's like me. Is that how you got into this? Guys, this apple cider vinegar. This apple cider caramel smells That's super good. Really I almost said vinegar, but it's, it's not vinegar. Smart. It's caramel, and it smells fantastic. I switch to wine whenever that happens. 
There's, okay, honestly, this should have gone in the refrigerator like a long time ago. It's just been sitting out. I'm going to stick it I'll, just, I'll just drink it. Do we, okay, so this rosé is fantastic. I think you'll like it because it's a little on the sweet side. <laughs> but keep put it in the Brussels sprouts in the trash. Don't do it. Look at, what is this? What is, what is this? That what are you doing? You. That was probably me. No, it wasn't me. I'm actually okay. Okay, um, let's see. What do I actually have in here? I think I threw... I threw a white wine in here. I don't know if we want a red. I have a Mouvedre, which I have no idea if that's how it's pronounced, but I'm going to go with it because that's what the letters are. It's, it's going to be, it's not going to be acidic. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be, it'll be a little earthy and a little jammy. So like, where is it made? Where Washington is it? State. Earthy from Washington? Yeah. So, this is typically, I say it's not really a sweeter yeah, wine. Yeah. It's more of like an old world style red wine. Yeah. So like it's not really acidic mm -hmm. and what, and yeah, dry. It's not, it's not really acidic and dry. You may like it. If you're going to open it anyway, I'll try it. I was trying but to decide what I wanted to open. I have, I have, guys, I have way too much wine. I'm going to just chat with chat, even though you can't see me. I have a Chardonnay, I have a Sauvignon Blanc, I have a Red Blend, I have Mouvedre, I have a Cava, and Blanc de Blanc. Wait, wait. What? I can take out the Evergreen, the dry Riesling that we had. My cords are too short. I was going to just pull the mic, pull the camera over here. Oh, you don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. Okay, so this is the rosé that we have right now. These are all dry Rieslings, which you've had before and I know you like. Okay. Cab salves, I know you're not really going to be into. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this you would be okay with as a red. Mm -hmm. um, the Sauvignon Blanc was not bad. I might put this in the fridge for later. Okay. That would be completely impossible if you wanted to ever see me again. This, this Sincere is actually pretty good, too. I think you might have had this at the office. Um, let's stick with... You've had, you've had this, right? I Do you know if you so. liked it? I can put this in the fridge now so it's ready I for when so. we... But I'll drink, like, red if that's what you're drinking. Well, I, I'll open a red so somebody has a red, but, like, do you... Sauvignon Blanc, dry Riesling? Probably dry Riesling, right? Okay, go ahead and take that. Okay. We'll find space in the refrigerator for that. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, no, red wine is not supposed to be drank at room temperature. It's actually supposed to be somewhere in the vicinity of 50 to 58 degrees. Uh, but we're gonna drink it at room temperature because like, we do, that's what we do. Are you moving it around? I feel like we should have flipped these two. Um, it's actually supposed to be had somewhere between like 50, 58 degrees or so. Um, so slightly chilled is the best way to drink a red wine. Um, you can drink it at room temperature. It's not going to like hurt it the way that it would like a white wine. Like a white wine should be chilled. Um, but it's best to drink it chilled, slightly chilled. I'm super liking, oh, also in case, I don't know if anybody, nobody can see this, can they? No, because they can only see you. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna describe, I'm gonna describe the turkey to you right now because I'm super excited about okay, what well, this well, looks well, like. Hold on. So I'm looking at about, I'm looking at a little bit of drippings, but not like nothing crazy for these pan no, drippings. No what? Oh, okay. We've got a little bit of browning action happening up here at the top. I'm gonna Vanna White this for a second. We've got some browning action here at the top. Uh, and it's starting to move down the, um, the turkey breast and move down the skin. Um, I'm like super liking this color. I do have a couple of peaks at the very top because the way this turkey is sitting very high um, because it doesn't have the drumsticks underneath it. So it's not like level the way that a normal turkey would be. Um, and so the very peak of it is getting a little darker than I would like. So what I'm going to let it do is I'm going to let it just kind of like brown to the bottom. And then once this top starts to get a little too dark, I'm going to cover it in tin foil so that it doesn't brown anymore. 
Um, and and so my stuffing is saved and and like it's okay because like that that's my stuffing right there the, the only stuffing that went to the bird is the stuffing I'm gonna eat <laughs> I will share if anybody asks but you have to know the you have to know the secret word secret word is may I please have some stuffing it's a phrase not a word um, I, I yes we have some stuffing already in the oven but it's not in the bird yeah. I, I honestly is good, but. I'm honestly like, I feel like it would be okay. The thing about, so the thing about this is like, I put some stuffing in the bird. I don't know if it's gonna taste any different than what's already in the oven, mm -hmm. specifically because the bird is not oh, yeah. this way. So it's not, so like you put a little, when you stuff a bird, you stuff a little bit in the neck cavity and then you stuff like in the main cavity. Mm -hmm. Um, and all of those juices kind of run into it, but because this is facing up and all it is is a skin over it, there's not a lot of juice going into it, so I don't know how much different it's gonna taste um, from the rest of it, so we shall see. But we will, we will get there eventually. Okay, so this is actually, there's gonna be a lot of bouncing around because I can't keep a single thought in my head at this point. And I'm like totally okay with the sauce. Okay, so in case anybody needs to see this, put it over the uh, over what? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Uh, the camera. Angle it towards the camera. So I've got hey. some caramel sauce here. And it looks runny, it looks runny, but once it actually cools off, it's gonna thicken quite a bit, and this is gonna be like a really good sauce. Uh, most of the pieces have melted back into this. There's really like, there's like a little bit left kind of like stuck to the pan at the bottom, um, and I can kind of just massage that a little bit to get that out, um, but that's, that's basically ready to go, and it looks fantastic. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead, we've got quite a bit of Brussels sprouts here. I think this is more than enough for all of us. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, and some olive oil to this. And it's gonna go in the bottom oven, Ooh, bottom oven bake, 425, because I did say that. And we're gonna take the stuffing that's already in there, kind of hanging out at 200 and we're gonna take that out and set that on the counter for a little bit. What you got there? Uh, pecan pie mm. and cornbread. Yummy. You missed the beer mile. If we need to warm anything, we can. Karen is the most sober person we have here now. We just had another coworker uh, walk in. Sober, only sober. The only, the only sober person. Uh, we just had another coworker walk in with some pecan pie, which I'm super excited about. Coworker, okay. who's coworker? Your coworker. Or my, my co, coworker? my coworker. Um, so what I'm gonna attempt to do is kind of get our sides all ready to go, and then um, also put in like after the sides are done. Um, while the turkey is resting, we're gonna throw in our desserts. So our pies are gonna go back in the oven at like 200 just to kind of warm up and get nice and toasty for when we eat them. Because like, why would you have a pie if it wasn't warm? Just saying. Okay, I've got some olive oil on. Do you need to throw in, clean up anything? I'm gonna throw table? some black pepper in, probably. And then I'm also gonna throw in some salt. A lot of salt. I know, I know, I oh, know, gosh, I'm gonna say this. Water? I throw a lot of salt in my Brussels sprouts. I probably shouldn't, but like I do. I feel like Brussels sprouts and asparagus, and I don't know why, I always feel like I'm over salting them, but then they turn out okay. So we're gonna like super over salt our Brussels sprouts. And then the, what's gonna happen is these are gonna cook on a baking sheet in the oven at about 400, 425, either of those are fine. 
um, for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Um, and they're going to come out, and I'm going to throw some Parmesan cheese on those. Okay, so those are done. I do have pans. Let me grab these. Okay, one other thing. I'm obsessed with sill pats. I don't know if anybody has used them. If you want, you can use like what parchment. Is a sill pat? I, I'm about to go into that. Um, if you want, you can use like parchment paper. Um, that's going to keep whatever you're using from sticking to the pan. Um, but a sill pad is basically a silicone sheet that goes to the bottom of the pan. It stops things from kind of sticking and burning to it um, and allows you to really kind of cook without creating a huge catastrophe in your kitchen because, like, that's not great. So I'm going to go ahead and spread these suckers out onto a couple sheet pans. I'm attempting to not overlap them. I want them to have air in between them so that they roast kind of on the same level. And don't take like extra long or like some of the ones that are like on, on top. Like if you have any that are on top of each other, then they're gonna roast on the outside but not on the inside. And I don't want things uneven, unevenly cooked. So all I've got, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, call it a day. Also, this is going here. Okay. So that's going to go in there. And that's going to go in there. Okay. And it's 403. No. Okay, now we're going to do. Babe, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. What about it? No, it's from The Wizard of Oz. No, 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 it's not. I thought it was the cabinet, the, the cupboard. The Indian in the cupboard? No, oh my God, no one knows. Lions and Tigers and Bears, oh my, is Wizard of Oz. Really? It's yes. That's right. Well, I always, it was a camp game for us where you go out Mr. Go Thomas, what is that from? And have some hiding in the woods. The only Thomas I know the is Thomas the Tank goes, Engine. opens up and they go into the crazy world. Narnia? Narnia! Narnia. Narnia. Oh, you're thinking of the, cent of the uh, not the centaur, but the um, half the... The, the deer man, legs. He looks like, yeah, she looks a like puck? a deer legs. A puck? Mr. Thomas? Who's Mr. Thomas? Tom Tom's, Tom's, is it Thomas? Yeah, from Narnia. Mr. Thomas. Mr. Yeah, Thomas. that. Tomness. Tom Tom I was going to say, it's oh, not Tom Thomas. No, you're right. Tomness. Okay. Tom I knew it was something weird. All right, I got some more paper towel. Okay, my caramel sauce is completely melted into itself, so we are good to go. I'm sorry, you're right. Why is it bears on mine is not from Narnia? I still don't have chat. No, I lost Tom chat. Like I said, it's also Here we go. Give me the cash! Give me the cash! We have cash! Oh, you're right. Okay. Only I can't see it, so that's fun. Um, Palaco taco. Palaco with, taco? With the 100 breadcrumbs. <laughs> Seems good, 100. My wife walks in while I have the stream in the background, asks what I'm, asks what I'm, ND. Well, asks what I'm doing? I don't know. And I say Lep and his wife are doing Friendsgiving, and her reply is, what's oh. with all the streamers? Can I not read it? Is it just like I'm not, it's no, not it's far over enough? Over and then oh, wa watching, and I say Lep and his wife are doing Friendsgiving, and her reply was, what's with all the streamers having hot wives? What? <laughs> They got lucky. That's right. They got lucky. That's what happened. Married up. They got lucky. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to turn this up and boil it. I'm going to cut up my potatoes. And I'm also going to take a quick break. Because we drank a lot of liquid. And Mama needs to use the restroom. So I will be right back. Give me like all of 20 seconds, guys. You can time me. And bye bye
Okay, we're good. And we back. I had to go to Tinkle Town, guys. I did, I had to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up these potatoes. Chat, I need you to work with me here. So, I put it in at 145. 245, 345. Did I put it at 145? Yeah, I did. I need to check this thing. I think it might, I think we might need to take this out. Turkey looks fine to me. I think it's time. Is it on convection? Huh? Is it on convection? It is not on convection. Why is the fan? It has to eventually to put some heat in there. Okay. I did, I went to Tinkle Town, it's fine. I did it, okay. We're gonna take this out. I'm gonna poke the thermometer in this just to check. I guess I'm not gonna take it all the way out. Let's see where we are. I don't have any dark meat in this, so I'm just gonna go straight into the breast. Oh, that feels done. Yo, that feels done, guys. It's not done, but it feels done. Okay, I'm sitting at 143, so I'm pretty freaking close. Okay. What? Okay, I wanna get to 165, and then we're good to go. So we're actually on a really good track for this sucker. I'm gonna check that again in another like 15 minutes or so. It's 409. Chat, here's your job. Make sure that I check that in about 15 minutes. So at 126, I'm checking it. What do you want, baby girl? I want yogurt. You want yogurt? Yeah. Yeah? I meant 426. I meant 26. Huh? Strawberry yogurt. Strawberry yogurt? Yeah. Yeah. Kate wants strawberry yogurt, guys. What do you think? Should we give it to her? Let's see what chat says, baby girl. Okay. You also, Co Colonel Kalua also wants yogurt. <laughs> he wants yogurt just like you want yogurt. Oh gosh, amount of bacon says no. Might as well make it 420. Hey. Okay. You want strawberry yogurt? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Do you think we can find yogurt in here, baby girl? So the thing about a turkey, and I'm just gonna like point this out to everybody while I'm halfway in the fridge here. Um, the thing about a turkey is that you don't want to cook the turkey and take it out and just start slicing into it. So it's actually gonna finish well before my other sides, and that's done on purpose. I want this turkey to rest. Anytime you cook meat, you want that cut of meat to rest after you're done cooking it, so that all of the juices from the meat can reincorporate into the fibers and make it nice and juicy. Here, you do that. I gotta cut the potatoes. Like a steak, exactly like a steak. Exactamundo, my friend. Okay. So I'm actually gonna cut really big pieces of potato. I don't, I want it to cook all the way through the less, what bud? Okay, the less surface area that there is, cool, the less surface, the less surface area that there is in your potatoes, um, the starchier, creamier you're gonna get in your final product. 
So I definitely want to make sure that these are like larger slices. Lep, when are you playing Sekiro? After no. Fallen Order. After Fallen Order. I don't know if they can hear me. After Fallen Order, apparently, guys. That's why we got this mic, so only she could show up and not all the crazy sounds. That's fair. I mean, I think we're playing Sekiro, except for right now, it's definitely everyone but you. <laughs> What are you doing? Turn on the cutting cam. This setup over here is awesome, right? Yeah, see where she's. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll move it. You're fine. Like, you really installed it. That's cool. <gasps> Fixed. Chat, why didn't you say anything, chat? What up, chat? You got to tell me when I'm off camera. <laughs> Those Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts already smell good. Okay. Smouts, those Brussels smouts smell good. Okay, I have a crap load of potatoes. That is a literal term. Potatoes. It's a, it's a literal uh, numerical term. A crap load. We are going to uh, actually, this is way more than a crap load. I'm just saying. Like, if this is your crap load, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go see a doctor, guys. <laughs> I have like five pounds of potatoes here. I'm very sorry for you if this is the case. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I want to like, I've already got the water hot, which like I typically don't do. Typically, like I'll get it like lukewarm and then start putting stuff in. But this water's kind of been ready to boil for a while. So I'm going to use a strainer. You can also use a spider if you really need to. And I'm just going to kind of like lower and put it in because like if I start plopping stuff in here willy nilly, it's going to splash all over me. And I really don't want to get burned today. So we're going to do that. This is going to cook probably about 30 minutes or so. Before they start getting really good. We're going to turn this up to medium high. As we know, the water is already salted, salty like the sea. So I've got my potatoes going here. I'm about to get out my spaghetti pot for green beans. We're going to do some green beans as well. And like, I could do fresh green beans, but I'm not gonna. I have like some frozen green beans. Honestly, like fresh, if, don't ever, like sorry for anybody who eats canned green beans, but like don't eat canned green beans. Uh, <laughs> you can get them fresh. You can get them flash frozen. I get them flash frozen. I feel like flash frozen. Um, it's not quite the same texture, but it tastes just as good. And it's just easier to have stuff that's already pre-frozen. Um, so, so I get like a bag of frozen green beans and I just re like, we'll recook that. Um, and after I'm done with it, I'll go ahead and I'll like run it under tap water or like throw it in an ice bath to keep them from like really getting too brown or something like that, depending on how much, how much you want to cook them. Some people like crunchy, some people like the mushy. It really depends. I kind of go somewhere in the middle. What are you looking at, is baby? Is this an actual thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, I mean, I want to do something. Have you seen the Four Loco Seltzers? What? I've never seen this they're before. They're Four Loco Seltzers, but they're like just What is this? Of That's the not Locos. great flavor. There's a better flavor, but it's All right, chat, try. chat, chat.
Oh, no, you're good. You brought quite a bit of, there's a bunch of miscellaneous beers in there. I okay. have Stella that you would love to make sure. I will do that. So that's it for Stella. Um, Carrie, is it okay if I walk in front of the camera? Yes, yeah. if you want to be seen on camera. <laughs> All right, so we've got some nice caramel sauce here. That is for later, but it's also going to be delicious. And honestly, I'm going to... Oh, my God, that's good. Okay. Let's put this over here on the counter to cool. It'll thicken a little bit as it cools, which, like, I'm okay with. I'm behind the camera. It looks so pretty. Okay. Okay, so we've got our Brussels sprouts in the oven and cooking. We have the potatoes on the stove top and cooking. Our oven, our oven, our oven is ready, fine, whatever. It's up to temperature. I don't even know where I was going with that. The turkey is what I meant to say. Turkey is about to come out. I've got our stuffing here um, that's up to temp and it's kind of just hanging out. Um, but I'm going to make sure that I actually, let me do this. I'm going to keep track of that and make sure that this is not, um, getting under a hundred degrees, which it is way not. It's about 150 right now. So we're good to go on the, the stuffing. Um, and then I'm also about to throw some cranberry sauce, which is pre-made back onto my stovetop. Hey babe, do you feel like cleaning any dishes? Cause like, I really need you to clean a dish or two. I need a dish for cranberry sauce and also for gravy. Because I need to start bringing that together too. From where? What? Dish for cranberry sauce. From where? I need this dish and this dish cleaned. Hmm? Uh, these two? This one and this one. Okay. Um, and then we're also going to be doing some green beans in the spaghetti pot. Yay, why not? Um, I do have the, the spaghetti strainer that goes along with that. So I'm going to be filling this with water and putting the green beans in here and then I can just kind of rip it out and call it a day uh, when these green beans are done. When you're done with that, can you just fill this up to about here? Do that first? Okay. Yeah, you want to go up to where, like, the whole stop. <laughs> Guys, we just kissed. It was really cute. Who did? Lep and I. Oh. Lep and I. I mean, I... That's well, what else am I supposed to say? But Kate, My Kate has yogurt all over her face, and what's cuter? Exactly. Say what? Kate just had yogurt all over her face, so what's uh, cuter? She's cuter. She's definitely cuter. Yeah. Uh, Luke was showing me Kate's Listen, room, what which, if by you, the way, the initials, that's... You heard it. It was gross. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Check the turkey. Is it time, guys? I know we said 420. Does that like? It's 420 all month long. I feel like it was supposed to be longer than that. Oh my god, that looks so good. I just want to get in there. Thank you, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this up. You want to ride your tractor? Super high. Hey guys, guess what? We're salting the water. Ooh. All over again, salting the water. That's what you do. Salty like the ocean. Salty, kind of like the ocean. We're going to do it. And then I'm going to pull out some green beans. Which may or, not, may or may not be in this refrigerator. It's not. I've got the peas in this fridge. OK, I got to go out to the deep freezer. So like, come with me on this journey. We're gonna go get some green beans out of the deep freezer. Oh goodness. Okay, I have stuff stacked on top of my deep freezer. Just give me a second, guys. Okay.
Okay, so I've just pulled out of our deep freezer our dinner rolls and our green beans. Our Brussels sprouts are coming along. I'd give them about 10 more minutes and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead. Is it? Okay. Is the water hot? Yeah. Okay. It says resealable. Do I trust that? I don't know. Can I help without getting in the way? Um, yes. So these need to get put on a pan. Which with the Brussels sprouts? I thought I had an extra one, but I don't we have three pans? Where's my third pan? Oh, here it is. There's one right here. I know, it's all clean. Okay. So I need rolls on this. Okay. And then what you do. I just want you to know that. All right. Okay, so what you do is you put rolls here. Okay. And we're going to brush them with butter. Okay. Okay. You have the butter melted already? Huh. Hi, do you know me? I do. I do have butter mel kind of melted. Butter. It's like ready to go. I mean, it's and not like rushed. particularly oh. melted, but it's like you can spread it's that been shit. It's out. You're right, right. Okay, you can, I can spread that. that shit. I can do that. We got it. It's like icing. Give me a knife. Let me help. Yes, give him a spreading knife. Not a knife. A spreading it's knife. It's a spreading okay. knife. This, this spreading knife for Spencer. Sorry, I'm from the south. Right okay, that's okay. good enough. Okay. We're going to put this back in the oven. Okay, guys, I'm thinking I need to check this turkey again. Are you done? You want to get down? Hi, do you want to get down? Is that a no or a yes? What? You want to wash your hands? Okay. Miss Kate wants to wash her hands. Kate, you want to wash this butter? We did the prep work already. And we got most of it off of her. Bye, baby girl. Oh, you're so good. Okay. Wash your hands. Good job. All done. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Now I'm gonna put this over and have butter hands. Keep going. Yeah. Don't stop. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, so I'm gonna add a very large amount of green beans to this pot. My potatoes are at a very slow boil right now. You do not want your potatoes to, um, to, like, okay, so when you're boiling potatoes, you don't want the water to agitate too much because once it starts to actually cook through, um, then it'll start actually like tearing your potatoes apart and the starch will kind of fall off the sides and it'll get too much water in them um, and you don't want to do that so i've got like a nice little kind of slow um boil here i'm like putting a ton of green beans into this green beans are my favorite so i really don't care that i'm making as many as i am right now Okay, that's probably a good amount. Why is the chat scroll down? I have absolutely no idea. Hey, Dave's here, guys. We're streaming, by the way.
Here we are. Okay, it's time right. to check oh, no. I my turkey. Rachel? What? This is all you know, get rid of that. I don't know what that is. Can we just go Do back? Do you realize how much butter I have on my hands? Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, tell something to talk about. I did. I'm, I'm so sorry, stream. I don't use a Mac. I'm a PC guy. This fucking work. This fake pays for PC. Okay. Right. This will be done in about 10 minutes. So we went from 145 to 156. I'm going to leave it in there for another 10 minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and take our turkey out and call it a day. We'll take it out. I'll tint it. Tint it. I'll tint it. Oh, my goodness. I'll tint it with some... Um, Aluminum foil, aluminum for those of you who are listening in from Europe. Um, so I'll go ahead and tent that up. I'll let it rest. Uh, I, you can rest a turkey up to an hour without issue, um, but you really don't want it to come under, like I said, that kind of like 100 degree threshold where bacteria starts to build. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we'll tent that up, and then I'm gonna make the gravy on the stove top whilst the, um, the turkey is resting and the rest of the sides are Kind of coming oh, together. I should be the loudest one. You are the loudest one. Yeah, 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 you are. But like, they said, tell her Spencer. Regardless of where the mic is. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't think I've buttered this many rolls in my entire life. I mean, like. I don't know if you're just buttering it. I think you might be hey. filling it up at this point. <laughs> Have you, uh... I just want to point out that, like, the someone butter is starting to melt onto them. Which, do you want me to assign someone to butter your muffin? What? So, uh, Have you never watched Mean Girls? Look, Spencer got butter on my shirt, says, which is a real I did not get here. butter on your shirt. You buttered your own you shirt. You guys go over to the lunchtime? Yep. I probably should have just put this in a bowl. What did Rachel do to that roll? Yeah, the first time in, like, two years since the hurt. Haven't been there since before. What is this over? This is over the potatoes. Okay, so this is the cranberry sauce that I made. I don't know. God, you can, you can barely see that. I'm very sorry, guys, that you can't, like... Is that better? Maybe a little better? Maybe a little better. Okay, so this is, like, a super easy cranberry sauce. Um, it's basically just whole cranberries... Turn this up a little bit, warm it up, get it kind of. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. No, I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider to this, just to thin it out a little bit so it can be used as a full sauce. I'm gonna warm it up, but not very much. I just wanna kind of thin it out a little bit with the temperature change. Um, but it's basically whole cranberries, sugar, water, and um, orange, fresh squeezed, or, uh, fresh squeezed orange juice, and some orange zest. A um, little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, oh my goodness, a little bit of cinnamon if you really want, um, but not important. Also, a little bit of sugar just to taste. All right, Carrie, can I have a bunch of put these rolls in the oven yet? What? Do I put these in the oven yet? Uh, no. They need to go in at 350 for. 350, and that's not what the oven is on right now, so no. buns are these? These are Sister Schubert buns. Sister who? Schubert. 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 That have been buttered. Those are Sonic's. Those are Sammy's favorite. Remember the guy who uh, Luke was, like, laughing at because he was spinning around in circles? On the moon? Sam was, like, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Those, those are his favorite rolls. Cool. I've heard very good things about them. Um, I typically find a yeast roll that you have to prove on the counter for a couple of hours before you can bake them. These ones you bake from frozen. I'm interested in how it'll turn out. Um, my family typically buys potato rolls, which are also delicious, or Hawaiian rolls. Again, delicious. So like, you know, bread is bread, and bread is delicious no matter how you do it. Nice. I'm gonna add, I added probably about a third of a cup to a cup and a half of my cranberry sauce just to thin it out. A third of a cup of apple cider. 
Um, I don't use my cranberry sauce in my main meal because, again, as we've said in countless times, uh, I don't really like sweet things in my entrees. So I actually use my cranberry sauce over vanilla ice cream because, like, why would you not? So I'm just thinning it out to turn it into a nice sauce for some vanilla ice cream. And this is about the this is about where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this burner, and I'm just gonna set it aside and let it cool. I'm also going to take a peek here at my potatoes. Now they're not ready. They are very close to being ready, but they are not quite ready. So I'm gonna let my potatoes cook just a little bit more. My green beans are coming up to temp, but the water is not yet all the way up. Oh, baby. I'm gonna take some of this liquid out. Do you want me to do that? Do you want that to be my job? I do it. Did I do too much? Yes, you did. It's overflowing the pot. I'm sorry. Watch your arm. Coming in particularly hot. Like you always do. Oh, my goodness. Guys, let's let put so much water in my pot that it's actually overflowing the side of the pot. It's overflowing. Okay. I'm gonna take like a minute to read chat. So if anybody has anything important to say in about 30 seconds, like throw it in there and I'll just read it. Get off my lawn. Bunch of old farts in this chat. That is true. And you know what? We like it that way. Old? I don't consider myself old. Yeah. The farts. Aren't you like We like the old farts. Wait, wait. Aren't you like 42 left? I'm the best, thanks you. I age like baby Yoda. What? Okay, so when I make Brussels sprouts, when I make, ooh. Salt, 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 salt. Okay, we do put a lot of salt. I, I don't need any more salt here, though. Sorry, sorry, guys. I, I can, in fact, check the turkey again in a couple of minutes, and I think it's about ready to go. Um, that's it, that's it. Ooh. Oh, do you want to scroll up? No, 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 no. I was, I was scrolling. I was scrolling down. Oh, that's at the end. How's the turkey top? That's really important. Turkey Dude, it actually looks okay. I was really concerned that it would get a little bit too brown. It hasn't gotten too. But like, we're in a really good place with this, uh, with the skin on the turkey. You are clapping. We're in a really good place. Um, Let's see what else. We okay, so what I'm attempting to do is make more. I love. I have a double oven, and I still need more space. Gonna, yeah. How many ovens, in your perfect kitchen, how many ovens would you have? All of them. All of the ovens. Four? A wall full of ovens. No. Would you really? okay, so no, two is perfect. Two is perfect. I'm just getting ahead of myself because I like spread out the Brussels sprouts on two pants. So like when you cook Brussels, when you cook Brussels sprouts, I like them, I like them a little mushy. Thank you. Like I like my Brussels sprouts al dente, so to speak. So like a little bit of bite, but also mushy on the outside. And the way that you can see that when you're looking at them like visually directly in the oven is like the inside starts to kind of puff upward. And when it does that, you know that they're kind of like cooking and steaming and coming out. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for here is it's like, it can be as brown as it wants to be, but until they start, until they start to kind of like puff upward from the inside, I know they're not, completely where I really? want them so to the be. Actually will puff up. Yeah, a little bit. So like if you, you can, can kind of see some yeah, of the middle ones. Some of the smaller ones have kind of puffed up a little yeah, bit yeah. from the outside. Mm -hmm. And so that's they kind of what I'm waiting for. They're they're like two minutes from done. Right, like what's they're really close. And stuff? this is too hot. My favorite vegetable to cook? Yeah. If you could only make one vegetable for the rest of your life. Oh man. Like butternut squash. Oh my god. My aunt made this butternut squash dish for Thanksgiving with coconut flakes and almond. Ooh. And it was actually the best dish we had at Thanksgiving. 
Sounds really good. It was really good. I don't even I'm like unsure coconut. about coconut. I don't even like <laughs> coconut. It was so good. Unsure about coconut, but it sounds delicious. Well, how do you cook your Brussels sprouts? How do you I cook them? Cow? What is cow? Am I missing something? I just got lucky with You can only bake one That's vegetable not, for life? Am I missing it? Newsflash, not a vegetable. Cows eat vegetables. <laughs> Does that make them a vegetable? Is this, is this the lack of logic we're going to? <laughs> potato, trick question. There are multiple potatoes. What potato are we talking about? Sweet. Sweet potato. Sweet <laughs> Oh, man, I should have brought the sweet potato tater tots. Aw, yum. Yay. I would have eaten that for Thanksgiving, no no doubt. Sweet potato tater tots New and flash. apple pie. <laughs> New <laughs> flash sarcasm. Okay. You said yes. Oh, of course butternut squash and cherry sage with butter in the name. Okay, let's see. I'm not Paula Deen, I swear. Okay, I'm throwing these suckers back into the bowl. Don't do that. That would be very dangerous. All my cows vegetable. I'm okay. There. This is broccoli. There. This is this is Oh, this is creepy. This one's Brussels sprouts. This one's ears. Corn. Okay. I call this one butternut squash. This one's tomato. I call this one potato. This is awful potato, but I want some potato. Okay. This is really hot. I'm just gonna set it. I just want to make sure that nobody burns themselves. If you want to clean. Okay. Rachel. Yes, ma'am. Let's do. Three twenty-five. Three fifty. Oh crap! You said three twenty-five, so I wrote three twenty-five. Three fifty. Start. Start, and then we put the rolls. Right. I'm gonna like let that kind of come out a little bit. I love that you're drinking seltzer, but you got the wine. Whenever I got the wine for dinner tractor, it's out, but no one Heavy. Oh, it's okay. All okay. right. I have a better, I have a better grip. We're good. I needed a better grip. If he asks. Gotcha. Okay. Fries. Cheap fries. Got it. I've got about two, three minutes left on my green beans. My potatoes feel like they're about done. Let's check them. Those are those are basically done. Okay, so I'm going to get the rolls in. Uh, I did not read how long they're supposed to bake in the oven. 15 minutes. Four minutes. Oh, they already cooked through. We might. Okay. So that's good because that works. My turkey is coming out of the oven. Turkey is coming out of the oven now. I'm almost positive, so I'm going to check it real quick. Because again, guys, we are not going to trust carryover cooking. We're not going to do it. We're not trusting carryover cooking. Why? It's not ready. That's ready. What? Okay. My turkey is so done. I'm taking it out. That that number was poked through into the um, stuffing. Okay. What? Where are you putting it? Up front. Oh. Turkey goes up front. It is the main event. All right. The Brussels sprouts are amazing, Carrie. Congratulations. Well, I'm glad you think that. It still needs Parmesan. Do you wanna Do you wanna put some Parmesan on it for me? I mean, like, because there's no such thing as a good meal without cheese. Only I don't know where the Parmesan went. There you go. That is caramel sauce. It's apple cider caramel. Dip in it. I mean, like, I guess whatever you want. Maybe apples if you really, really want. I figured we put it over ice cream or apple pie. And okay. Or <laughs> All right. Do okay. Just shred the here you go. There should be a microplane right here. All right. My that goes over that and then mix. I'm gonna take out my turkey. Or 
should I like mix it hey, with a spoon? Oh, she drank it. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna turn down my upper oven. Turn down to what? Bake to 200. I get the right. Come on. And I'm gonna put in the apple pie and the stuffing with some additional gravy onto it. Do you want me to mix those with my hands or like? Hi. Um, well, let me give you something to mix that with. I guess let's just do a serving spoon. Can you say please? There you go. Alright, so I'm gonna put my stuffing back in the oven. Oh, it's hot. Still hot, guys. This is Parmesan cheese. Look at Rachel interacting with Chad. I am. Big claps to Rachel. Props, Rachel. Mad props. It's it's true. That's a, that's an infinite infinite number. Oh my goodness. Apologies. Apologies. That's an infinite number. There's no such thing as any decade, year, century where cheese is not an appropriate part of the meal. For anyone wondering. Okay. Okay. So now let's that that is at 200. I'm gonna go ahead and put. Oh. My stuffing back in and let that steam a little bit. I threw some of the um, gravy into it and I'm going to let that gravy kind of steam in there and then I'm also going to heat up this apple pie that Rachel bought from a local place in town. And that is going to go in the oven to heat up as well. Yes, like warm apple pie is the best. Oh my god, I'm so Um, the answer is none. I want no apple pie or uh, no apple pie. I'm looking at apple pie. I want no wine right now. I need to finish the stream. <laughs> at an appropriate at an appropriate level of Yeah. Yes. Yes, you can you can put it in here if you want. I've got it on 200, so it's not going to do anything yeah. crazy. And then the cornbread too. Is that here. Hot? It's very it's still like oven hot though. That's the thing. So yeah, we're, we're fine. And then we can put butter on the cornbread. It hasn't been buttered, but it is. Did you want to put it in or leave it? Um, I'll put it in so it stays warm. Okay. It is on its own though, so I don't know if I need to get like an oven safe. Uh, let's do. Let's see, what do I actually have in here? Anything usable. I have... Um, I had a pan that you could use. How's this? Okay. Okay, guys, it's time for mashed potatoes. Also, my green beans are done. Mashed potatoes are done. Can you toss this in the garbage for me, please? Oh, I red shirt. Okay. That is hot. That is quite hot. Everything here is a free model. Okay. We need it. Can you place it into there?
That is steamy, y'all. Yeah. That is some steamy potatoes. Wait, it's still dripping. Give me the cash! Give me the cash! Oh. I'm not in front of chat! What does it say? Non streamer 3D. Oh, uh, the right, on the right, the dark side, yeah. Thank you for the hundred breadcrumbs. Gator Frank, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's a pop. Okay, gotcha. Gator Frank with a hundred breadcrumbs. Chuck, Chuck, what is this? Thank you, thank you. A Twitch in. currency? Oh. Yeah. Twitch. Twitch, Twitch back currency so that you don't verify and already. So we gave you a dollar, basically. Right. Okay. And then, um, for Guys, it's seven. time. Uh, it's time for mashed potatoes. But like PayPal can be charged back. Oh, okay. When you donate you $5 and be like, nope. Oh. Later on. So okay, if you feel like plating anything, you're welcome to put <laughs> That's funny. anything into a dish, a serving dish. Just th throw it in a serving dish. So I like. I don't want to screw things up. No, you just pick a dish and like put it in, babe. Okay, I'll do it, but I'll, I'll screw it up. Here. Green beans, Green beans. yay! We're gonna do some mashed potatoes now. Yeah. As I was just picking at the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Brussels, Brussels sprouts can go into a container as well. Okay, where do you want the green beans? Where do we put food at? Uh, the table needs to get set up. To remove the lazy susan or what? Yeah. Well, no, the lazy susan has nothing to do with it. You just have to move the table out of the way so that we can put that. That stuff needs to get moved so we can turn that into Are the table. Are we setting up the big table? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay, so yeah. That seems like a lot of work. All right. Can I have anything other than moving shit over It's time to move the tables. Show me to it's the time. Carefully. It's time, chat. Somebody throw it's time emotes into chat. That's only, that's only tier two, so. Aw. That, that makes me sad face. I'm doing it in my heart, chat. OK. We're going to need a lot of butter. Do you want me to pull and some sour cream. And also some milk, because like I'm not gonna do heavy cream. Even if I want to. I'm not gonna do it. But we do use whole milk in this house. Cause like two percent and one percent and like fat free or skim or whatever the hell it is. No. They look pretty done to me. They look pretty done to me. No, nope, keep going. Okay. Not done. Well, how else can I help them? Get out of the way? Is it okay. No, we need the tables up. Oh, that's true. She wants the tables up. Let him direct you to what he needs. Okay, I'm going to put a ton of butter into this. So I'm putting about, I don't know, three or four tablespoons into five pounds of potatoes. At least. About a half a half a stick of butter. It's not really a ton of butter, I guess. It's a lot, but it's not a ton. No, just the one, baby. Move it to the side. I don't know. Wherever you want to put it. This does not want to stay in. Please lock. There we go. Okay. I'll mash this up. No, I'm using more butter. I know I said that, but I'm going to use more. Okay. So I'm just kind of like throwing the butter in, letting it melt, mashing up what I do have in here, and then I'm going to add in a bunch of sour cream and some milk. Can 
Can I get in here, please? No. I got what? Your mic kind of got weird. Oh, oh geez. It no, Is it, it working? No, it works, yeah. There, that might be better. Okay, sour cream. Keep that stuff on the upgrade. No, Nerm. Christmas emotes are live. They are. I've probably got about a half a stick of butter and I'm gonna go with a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of sour cream and five pounds of potatoes and I'm just mixing this up and then I'm gonna add a little bit of milk in just a second uh, yep. and we had previously um, we had previously salted our water. So these potatoes are pretty nicely seasoned, but I am gonna add just a little bit of extra salt and I'm gonna add some pepper into this as well. That's good. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out and see how we're doing. Oh my god, that's good. All right, I do need salt. So we're going to add a little bit of extra salt. There should be a leaf. Yeah, 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 there should be another one. That's mashed potatoes. I'll throw that in there. Chat, we're coming to the end of stream. I'm kind of sad. This was a really fun day. We've got turkey done resting. You need to rest your meat for at least 20 minutes, um, no more than an hour, to let all those juices kind of reincorporate. Um, we've got our stuffing in the oven, kind of keeping warm. Um, I did throw some extra gravy in there just to make sure that it could like steam up and kind of rehydrate and reflavor that. I've got our mashed potatoes done. Our green beans are done over here. We've got some warmed up cranberry sauce. Uh, I don't know where this is right now. Is it here? Okay, don't move the table. I honestly like. I wish my glass. I wish I had better vision than this. Is this where this is? Here. I see black, but I have no idea where his camera is pointed. Oh, hey, how about I actually look at this? There we go. I see my head. Okay, we've got some cranberry sauce, just kind of like hanging out, ready to go. We've got some apple cider caramel hanging out over here. I've got the vanilla ice cream in the back fridge. We've got two pies warming in the oven. And we also have our cornbread casserole that Karen kindly brought with me. Um, I do have um, to make some gravy with the uh, drippings from the pan. Uh, but I'm probably going to do that off stream because I think it's about time that we start uh, really plating and getting this place together. The Brussels sprouts are already done, huh? You should try a meal for your potatoes. I have. Okay. 
So I have a potato eraser. And while I am not opposed, I typically use this for something like a gnocchi. Um, I gnocchi. I know who who just. Oh, you got ten thousand, a thousand bits. A thousand breadcrumbs. Can I get a to-go plate? No, sorry, you don't live here. Wow. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I would love for all y'all to be here and like enjoy this and honestly smell this because it smells fantastic, but. Like, y'all don't live here. What temp do you want with the pies? I have it at 200. I'm just letting it sit low and slow. I don't want to bake anything. I just want it to kind of stay warm for the next 10 minutes or so. And Carrie's the nice one. Sorry. Carrie is the nice one. Sorry. Yikes. Sorry. Um, so I do, I do have a potato ricer. Yes, you can make your mashed potatoes with that. Honestly, it's too much work. I'd rather just use Listen, chunky mashed potatoes those. is better anyway. I'm just saying. So there you go. I don't. I don't have one of the. Um, so like, I have the ricer. I don't have the mill that cranks or the. Um, so there's like two different ones. So there's one that's like kind of like that, where it's got like the ricer bottom. It's got really big holes in it, and you just kind of crank around. There's also another one that's like a big mesh kind of sieve that's got a really um, conical bottom. I don't have that either. Um, either of those, or I guess all three of those will work, but honestly, it's just easier for me to use um, a hand mixer Chunky and go to town with that. Skin and them taters, good enough, enough butter to stop your heart, honestly. That's the, dream. the way to do it. That yeah. That's, that's the way. America! That's the way. America! <laughs> Watch out. Really? Yeah. It's time you can never get back. That's also true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw potatoes. Do you want me to do that? Sure. Can I help with anything? I feel so bad, just like standing there. There you go. Um, let's see. I need. I still need to make gravy, and then we're ready to go. Okay, I'm calling it quits. On. Gravy is the only thing left. Um, in order to make gravy, I'm gonna just like Wait, I'll not, let you guys know. Not tough. No. So you have to read chat now. Oh, to um, okay. So what you want to do is you want to take uh, the back of a spoon and scrape it along the size of the pan along the line of liquid. Um, I would say water line, but this is not water. This is mostly fat and like whatever else came out of the That's turkey. Um, so you take the back of the spoon and you're just going to kind of scrape along and make sure that those kind of cooked in bits because that's where a lot of your flavor comes from gets put into the liquid then that gets put into I don't have the top of it the top is somewhere um, that gets put into this device I don't it's know if you can top see top you have a nozzle on your yeah cup? yep this way um, God this is rough so uh, here we have the spout. This is a fat separator. So what happens is, is you put liquid in here, the fat rises to the top, and then everything on the bottom is straight broth. And so what I'll be doing is I will be taking this broth, and I'll be using that for my gravy. The fat will also be used for the gravy, but that is going to be taken, that is going to be put in with flour to make a roux and then going to be added back into the stock that I've previously made and the, gr the drippings that are not fat um, and we will thicken up our gravy that way. So that that is how that, that works. Um, but I'm, I think we're all pretty much ready to start setting this place up, so. Where's the gravy? I really don't like the smell. Huh? So good. Where's the gravy? I have gravy. I mean, I have pre I have pre-made stock and everything, which disappeared on me. I'm in the fridge right now, guys, and I don't see my stock. Oh, here it is. There we go. Okay, babe, I need you to pay attention because I don't know how to end things or do whatever or you have to do it? to the you computer. Need, yes. You need a, um, what? a catchphrase. 
I, I don't have I a catchphrase. I was going to put this on the edge, but I won't. I don't have a catchphrase. Are we ending? Yes. <laughs> How did you inadvertently take over this entire stream? It's the hair. He won the beer mile, and everyone loves him now. He did win the beer mile. He's, he's hardcore. He's a crowd favorite now. They, they want she a picture of the left of the plate oh, in a finished a, meal. In he learned how to take selfies, and now she oh, yeah. is the MVP. Oh, so oh your yeah. role is. Really yeah, bud. I am. I am about done. There's a lot of really flattering ones for me about this <laughs> angle. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> bud. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Quick, go. Ooh, don't let your girlfriends and your wives meet. I mean, like, I get, yeah. <laughs> Don't put yourself in that position in the first place. How about that? <laughs> How does one win a beer mile? Get good at shotgunning beers. Also running. <laughs> yeah. These Be good at one or the other. Right? Yes, they do. <laughs> do you need the bottom oven for anything, Carrie? Uh, no. Okay, these are done. I got it. Cool. You can throw it right on the stovetop. Yes. So uh, I just want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. Uh, we did a lot today. Uh, we have turkey, we have mashed potatoes, we have stuffing, we have a bunch of pies, we have some rolls and some caramel apple cider. I've got Brussels sprouts and green beans, and we actually had a beer mile in between all of that. So uh, kudos to us for overachieving. <laughs> And I'm very, very happy to say good on ya and good night. Uh, I, I want to eat, like, right now. So, like, skedaddle. Like, really leave. Bye. <laughs> I'm ready to go. What temp to heat the pies? Pies are sitting at 200. I'm just warming them up. I'm not doing anything crazy. We don't want to rebake them. Thank you for interrupting my outro with a question, whoever you are. It was Des, of course it was. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you all later. Thank you for joining us on our Friendsgiving. I had a very good time. <laughs>